<laughs> Whoa! Hey, look at that! It's nine o'clock on the East Coast. That means it's time. I know. You never know what's going to happen when the show goes live, right? It's uh, it's nine o'clock on the East Coast on a Thursday. Is it Thursday? It is, isn't it? That means it's time for this week at Gear Report, the show where sometimes we talk about everything that's been published since the show last week. Things that are in the review queue are ever popular shit shooting segment which honestly is usually most of the show um look at that mystic guns was here first um i would like to go on record as noting that mystic was here and the gun snob was not okay he likes to claim first nope mystic was here first and and very well absolutely was yeah we all know i'm number one anyways um sure we'll go with that um the gun snob with one yo that's weak brother three yo's or nothing you. come on you know better you know better she doesn't count you get to tell her that not me okay someone's uh, sleeping outside tonight just saying yeah i know it i know it so um anyhow my wife just hey. said you what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 probably it's about time i know it took me a long time to warm up to you mystic but I'll be honest, it's because you're really mean to me most of the time. But uh, and you show TJ all the love. Honcho Fett making another rare, rare appearance. Thank you. What's up, Boba? No, Honcho. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So um, th- thanks, everyone out there uh, who is participating. This is a participatory program. We do expect, uh, if you expect me to carry all the weight here, <laughs> it ain't going to happen. All right. We need you to chip in with questions, comments. We'll tell you who we're talking to. Uh, here shortly uh, because we're continuing the theme of not only doing this week at Gear Report, but also bringing in cool brands to talk to. Gizzard Gary, it's good to see you again. All right. Oh, my goodness. See, that's getting a little personal, talking about their bedtime stuff. All right. Y'all keep that at home. We don't need to hear that. So um, anyhow, we're going to get to that here shortly, tell you who our special guests are. This week, for now, let's let's hit the gear report crew, and then we'll introduce our guests. So, hi, I'm Jeff. I'll be your tour guide this week, and uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. TJ, did TJ zone out on us? No, I think he's just being like yeah. clover. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, that's TJ. He's usually a little bit more interactive. Apparently, he's having tech issues at the moment. I was muting we myself because there's a tech? giant echo. I hear yeah, the I hear it too. <laughs> I thought you were throwing your voice or something. All right, we'll let TJ work out his tech issues there. Ghost, you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little depressed today, man. It's, we're iced into the house, but you know, more importantly, I, I, I got a call that I did not get the, the lead or any part for that matter, in the local senior citizens uh, rendition of West Side Story. They said I wasn't good enough, so I'm a little bummed out. So I'm, I'm, I might not be very Saeed thing going on. So. I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I guess they it said that I can't dance, can't sing. I have no personality, so I guess I was kind of screwed. So it is what it is. But thanks for having me. Yeah, you took it pretty well. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Ghost is my favorite. Look at that, Mystic. She's finally nice to me for a little bit, and now she's like, "Yeah, Ghost is my favorite." Checks okay. in the mails. Checks in the mail, Stacy. Yeah. So, uh, so I was telling, I was telling our guests before the show, we keep this really informal. We try to kill the first few minutes, give time for notices to go out for for people to join in and get ready to ask questions. While you're asking questions, if you don't mind, give a thumbs up to the guys from Facts and Firearms. They are here late. They worked a full day, (laughs) probably more than a full day. One of us did, probably. (laughs) (laughs) And now they're here late. They're here late doing the show with us. We really appreciate that. Give them a thumbs up to let them know you care or a high five or you know whatever platform you're on youtube's i guess it would be a thumbs up wouldn't it go ahead and do that please to, it, it helps feed the algorithm so more people see what we're doing and can join the show anyway so why don't we head past T- tj do you want to try and see if you got rid of the echo 
Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> nope, that's a no. Get out of here. That's yeah. a hard no. <laughs> well, never mind. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. And she had just busted on TJ. Man, <laughs> Stacy was nice, and now she's mean. I don't even know what's that's going wrong. on here. So that's what Snob has to deal with all the time. It's a tough mm. crowd. Yeah. It sounds like it's a lot it tougher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just getting started. So, um, so I wanted to to well, we'll get into good? history. I'll just say that. Uh, All right. Are you a bobblehead now, Trey? You know, TJ I'm, asked if he was good, and I was giving him the nonverbal. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you, so I gave him the nonverbal yes. Yeah. Just the ghost tactical bobblehead. <laughs> the bobblehead. Available, available nowhere online. From wrong, from wrong. Twenty nine ninety nine. You did to me? get rid of the echo. That's excellent. Yeah. I got rid of I got rid of the echo, but I had to turn like all my volume down so I can barely hear you. Let me see if I can turn it up and see if it affects it. Yeah. I promise you that I will take advantage of that to make sure awesome. about you the whole time. All right. Can we hear me now? Yeah. We good? Yeah. 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 Sweet. TJ I'm, on, so. I'm <laughs> the uh, I'm the head of snacks and beverages. My title Thanks for the, director. Thanks for the director. He's director in charge of the green, he's also in charge of the green room backstage. So that's Jay is also uh our part-time director of snacks and beverages. So that's very important job. Yeah, he he the it is the best job. He oh, eats yeah. the absolute most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, Honcho Fett renamed you, Ghost. I, I saw that. <laughs> That's some of the nicer things he said about me. So, you know, yeah, it is messed up too. I am trying to, like, I'm clicking, it will not leave the screen. I mean, the problem is, is that's that, that's my B channel, but that's a whole nother that has nothing to do with firearms. Well, look so. at that. It's gone. Goes to Key West. <laughs> yeah. Don't you don't want to go, you don't want to go subscribe there. I promise you. Mm, yeah, <laughs> only fans, we got you. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um. You, you know what's funny about it? you said only fans. I gotta tell you my only fans joke. I oh, got geez. a patch. Some brands send stuff sometimes. And I, I never know what's gonna show up here. And I open up an envelope, and the only thing in it is a patch that said only mags. And it had a picture of a <laughs> like a, a magazine on it. And I'm like, I really feel like this was probably two years ago, year and a half, two years ago, and I'm like. I should know what this is. I feel like I'm completely missing a joke. So I took a picture of it and sent it to one of the younger guys on the team. I said, Caleb, man, you, that one, that, that is literally yeah. right there. And I sent it to Caleb and said, dude, I feel like I'm missing the joke. And he explained it to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that's funny. I mean, but, uh, that's my yeah. favorite. Yeah, Ooh, stripper, stripper clip. Yeah, yep. stripper yeah. I got, I got a, I got a, I got a patch in the mail yesterday from G Web, and it said caution, no fud zone, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna definitely rock that around Clover because he will hate that patch. Yeah, cool. Um, I, I'm all for. Oh, dang, that one got up there again. Sorry. I, I'm all for harassing Clover whenever we get the opportunity. So. Um, all right, we, we we like to kill the first five minutes before we introduce the guests formally. We got on a roll, and we're almost 10 minutes. So why don't we uh, actually introduce uh, – we'll, we'll let Jay and Zach introduce themselves. We, we can start out here with Jay. Uh, you know, who are you? How long have you been at Facts, and what do you do there? And uh, your, I don't know, your favorite breakfast food. Mm, that one's tricky. Uh, my name is Jay Wilson. Um, I've been at Faxon for almost nine years. I was actually the second employee of the company. Um, wow. I am the director of product management. Favors breakfast food. Uh, God, that one's really hard. Waffles. Waffles. Definitely <laughs> waffles. <laughs> Blueberry waffles. Okay. Well, you got specific. I was going to say he's waffling on that answer a little that was, bit. That was specific. Right? That's it. But, but then he, got, he threw some specificity you know, in there. So we're good. Blueberry pancakes is number two. So, you know, it's like. Mm, I see a theme. Yeah, right. I see a theme. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zach, you want to say hi? 
Yeah, uh, so my name's Zach, obviously. Uh, I've been with Faxon for, it'll be five years in April. So uh, I was the third employee. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> I was probably like the 20th. I don't know. Um, but I'm the inventory control manager. So I just do a lot of operation stuff and finish good stuff, make sure all that's kind of in order. Um, and my favorite breakfast food, it's it's... It's kind of hard. It's a restaurant. So there's this place called State Line Diner over by me. And it's it's like only open till like two o'clock in the afternoon every day. Hmm. But they've got like the best getta and the best just breakfast meals. So it's, it's far usually from Cincinnati. They don't know what getta is. Yeah, yeah. it's it's you know, That's it's cool. like uh Jay actually has a good getta recipe, but it's like uh it's just a mix of pork and whatever. I mean, usually it's beef and pork, right? Beef, pork okay. and um, oats. steel cut oatmeal. Yeah, uh, it's it's like, like you can cook it all kinds of different ways. I don't know, but it's like it's a breakfast meat. Uh, so it's, eggs, it's get a, a breakfast home meat. fries, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's probably that's my not cop out answer. Like Jay, throw some, right. throw some gravy over it. We're good to go. Yeah, it's. I mean, syrup is really good on it. Ketchup's good on it. I mean, it's, it's it is a it's a great meat. So, so Zach, like being it. the uh, inventory control person, I bet you've been the most popular person in the last couple of years, haven't you? You know, people try to make me very popular. They're, they're like, <laughs> wow, this guy's kind of mean. Uh, out of stock, out of stock. That's Zach. That's Zach. That's Zach. It's out of stock. The amount of hate I get from people that I see out, and they're like, oh, you work at Fax? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, why is nothing in stock? I'm like, "I, because everyone's buying everything. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Like. So, but it's all good. I mean, you know, they're not, they're usually not mean when I say hate, it's just general like speak, but, but yeah, no, I mean, it's a fun job. Uh, oh, there, yeah, there's, there's a, a, there's a get a right there. Yeah, uh, there you go. So I've never heard of it before. The show is I, I want people to learn, learn at least one thing in every show. So we're done. We can just screw around the rest of the time. Yeah, awesome. yeah right. Yeah, yeah because I've never, I've never heard of that. So I definitely learned something for sure. Yeah. Not only do I have a good recipe, I have a good video recipe of me making it on the Facts and Fire yeah. on YouTube. So yeah, it's true. You know, <laughs> last year, two years ago, it's two very entertaining. Ago. I think yeah. it was uh, right. 2020 holiday season. Well, we may have to go check that out at some point. Yep. Um, oh man, you said tough crowd. I think you called that one. Uh, uh, bacon's all right. Yeah, that's everything's better, better with bacon, out. but breakfast meat. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I like this. <laughs> wow. All right. So, um, I think we're going to let, let's dive in. I appreciate you guys letting us know what you do there at uh, Facts and Firearms. I uh, I know I was telling Jay before the show that uh, I I got a little nostalgic that. Um, you know, we've been doing this since 2009, and uh, and we went a few years before we did anything in the firearm space. We did other outdoor gear first, and one of the early brands that we worked with was Faxon. And um, let me let me see if I can show you share screen. I'm sure you have the tab open. Oh, I've got the tab open. Believe me. <laughs> you only got 11 of them. I just point. had to figure out. You've got like 50 one of these tabs. tabs. All right. Now I'm stuck because I'm like, crap, which one is it? There are too many tabs. Yeah. It's not 75 that one. facts and tabs open. <laughs> okay. 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 I, know which, I know which one it is now. now. It's got one ghost tactical now. tab open. Like, sorry, ghost. That's all you I get. Think. I'm just happy he has that one open. I mean, honestly. <laughs> and poof, you're gone. <laughs> Air 15 upper. I'm just not seeing the right thing here. You know what? We're Oh, there it is. No wonder. It was in the wrong spot. I no wonder Imagine I didn't that. find it. Yeah, I know. I know. It, well, I got so many tabs open. It was hard to find the correct one. This was the very first time we met Fax and Firearms. And this was... Um, this was at the NRA show in 2016, and uh, we shot an interview with uh, with yeah. one of the boss boss men. <laughs> the boss man, yeah, the boss man. That was that was back when we had the old gear report logo. Camera 21 upper 
receiver. There we go. And, uh, it does have the ambidextrous capability. And we don't have to go through the whole thing. But proof for anyone around the company who thinks, you know, he just sits in the executive suite and books golf outings. Right. Um, he actually was working the show floor there. So there you go. Fun stuff. That was, that was back in the Disney, though. That that was yeah that was that was one of the first uh, kind of live brand interview things that we had ever done in the firearms industry as well. So, uh, so our history with Faxon is, uh, you know, about as deep as oh, that's kind of neat. I'm just gonna keep clicking those back and forth. Um, you know, we we've been I'm a seizure. Yeah, <laughs> we've been. We've been like, we, we work with Faxon quite a bit early on when when we started doing firearms reviews. Uh, but then the last couple of years, we kind of uh, focused on some other directions. And, I, and we, we uh, ran across the booth at SHOT. And uh, after we had shot the 8.6 blackout at uh, range day, we're like, you know what? This is one of those brands that we have not given enough attention to lately that we need to reacquaint with our audience. So uh, which one of you wants to to give us a little background on the company, like where you come from, scope your products, what are you most known for, that type of thing? Or you can bounce it back and forth. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Facts and Firearms um, spawned from Facts and Machining. Um, Facts and Machining is 40 plus years old at this point. Um, but about 10 years ago, uh, you know, we were we were doing lots of automotive oil and gas work and, um, you know, it was slowing down. And so uh, Bob and Barry were looking for arenas to get into. And um, the legend goes that, uh, you know, Bob was uh, watching some sort of, you know, some sort of gun show, uh, you know, and, and they had ranked the AK above the AR-15 and you know, he, he got this, this thing in his head about trying to, to make a hybrid of, of the two guns, which is, uh, you know, the, the clip you were showing was the Iraq 21, which right. was, you know, our flagship product, um, you know, back in 2013, it was the only thing we made. And, um, so we were going to, you know, to shows with the Iraq and, um, people started you know, saying who's making your barrels for these, and and we were because Facts and Machining historically was a deep hole drilling company. You know, we specialized in uh, long precision holes. Um, so you know, we, we <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I see you down there. <laughs> so you know, we we got all this feedback, uh, you know, about about the barrels and hey, why aren't you making other barrels? And and that, you know, sort of spawned the next phase of the company, which was AR-15 barrels. Um, you know, we we realized that everything that we were doing led to really good barrels. So we started making, um, you know, a line of AR-15 barrels and it really grew pretty quickly. Um, you know, right now we're sitting at, I think about 90 different SKUs of AR barrels. Um, so, you know, that's, that's sort of how, how we got started in it. Um, the, the complete firearms, you know, I mean, the ARAC was our first product, but then it, it wasn't until, you know, 2018, 2019 that we, um, actually released any more complete firearms. Um, the FX-19 pistols followed by our AR-15 rifle line. So, um, you know, but but mainly at our core, we're a barrel company and we're a parts and accessories company. Okay, interesting. So the the a ARAC, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it ever really going to catch on? Well, you know, we've, we've struggled, um, internally over the years with keeping up on production with it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so, so the AR barrels, uh, and the parts and accessories really, you know, really took a front seat, uh, for, for a number of years for us. Um, you know, it's, it's the vast majority of our barrels and, 
you know, the, the ARAC is, is complicated. It's, um, it's a really interesting system and, you know, it's, it performs a lot of really cool functions, uh, but it has a lot of parts, <laughs> you know, it's, right. it's got, it's got this, you know, large, uh, monolithic upper receiver. It's got, you know, all these steel milled parts. It's got, um, you know, uh, live tooling lathe parts. It's, it's got a lot of complicated parts and, you know, historically, um, every time we try to focus on it, something else pushes it out of the way. So, yeah. uh, this year we've, we've really, um, sort of, uh, dedicated a, a lot of, uh, resources towards it. And I think you're going to see it in more production this year. Um, you know, so we hope it will. Okay. Um, I appreciate that. I started to bring up the, the website and scroll through it while you were talking. And then I just completely lost my screen. Like, do you guys still hear me? Yeah. yeah you know, we see your screen. Do you, do you see me? Yeah. I see you. This is bizarre. Like I, my screen is black. I can see nothing. So I can't change the screen. <laughs> TJ, can you take control on the back end? I can't hear. Did is he doing something? <laughs> yeah, he, he took care of it. He's muted, but he there you go. You're all it. better now. <laughs> yeah, do do me a favor and uh, kick me out and run things while I log back in. I may have to like reboot or something. Hell yeah! I got the reins now. That didn't take What's long at all. Did it? Uh, he's like, see you. <laughs> yep, I'm out. I'm like, I'm like, going to back in now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He'll be, uh, it's always technical difficulties a little bit. Like I see him back there. Do I add him? If he's there, try to add him again. Uh, are you ready? Are you back? I was born ready. Get rid of me. Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> like he's still here. Like I see him at the bottom of the screen. He said, get rid of him. But I mean, he can add himself back. So what do I care? Right. Yes. I, I'd keep him out as long as you can. Yeah. Can I block him? Gary. Where's Gary at? <laughs> Goodness. Don't worry something. Well, I know I know that uh, I mean, I, I'm a fan because I've got a, a couple of different of your barrels for handguns. So, like, you yep. guys started out in the AR barrel business. Obviously, you guys have expanded your inventory and all that, but when did you guys decide to say, okay, we, we put a lot of time and money into the AR barrel, but there is a lot of aftermarket, especially with Glock or different companies that are, yep. you know, I, I, that's what I use your barrels for the Glocks. But that's like, what I've got. You know, when did y'all make that decision? Well, there's a lot more out there that we could do. Was that because of people asking you to, or is that just something that was automatically going to happen? Yeah. You know, it was, it was a lot of, um, a lot of customer input and i mean it was probably going to happen anyway right you know it's it's um barrel making is what we're set up to do and you know through i mean just sort of looking at at what people are buying in the market pistol barrels was you know a, a pretty a pretty easy extension for us i think um i think the first pistol barrels we launched were back in 2017 and um you know, we, we just keep expanding it. I mean, I have a constant list of, of platforms that, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, come out with new barrels for, I mean, we just launched, you know, within the past year and a half or so, you know, shield barrels, 43 barrels, 365 barrels, you know, there's, there's just a, a uh, sort of never ending queue on my list of, of yep. pistol barrels to run. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants a, a, a fax and barrel for their gun. I mean, you know, BB nine, like, you know, yeah. yeah, actually I remember it was, it was 2017 because when I first started, we had a, so we never released our gen one Glocks or gen one Glock barrels. We like did a gen two automatically. It's still like gen one, I guess for our release, but like I came into work on like my third day and there was a Glock barrel. It had, you know, it was flame fluted and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I was like, are we really making that? Like, oh my God. Cause you know, three days in, I'm a huge fanboy at this point, you know? So, <laughs> but yeah, I think and now he's jaded. Now I'm like, yeah, yeah. 
kill myself. No, God, how many of those we gonna make? Um, we gonna make? But uh, I think we just released Glocks, right, Jay? It was just Glock at the time, and then we went M and P, and then Sig. Yeah, it was it was Glock M and P, and then Sig. Yeah. No. Is there yeah. anything that over the years has there has there ever been something you guys have had a request to do? And you thought immediately, never, like it'll never happen. Has it ever happened? Like, what's the weirdest thing you guys have asked me to get a barrel for? Uh, I'll say one. Uh, some guy at Shot Show actually this past year was like, "Hey, could you make some seven mil odd eight barrels for my AR-10?" <laughs> it was like, "Isn't that like the original Mauser cartridge, dude? Like, what's going on here?" Like, uh, was that Clover? <laughs> yeah, that was Clover. Yeah, Once yeah. like some three or three British for the infield guys out there. Yeah, right. you know, yeah. right. Next. I mean, <laughs> being a barrel company, we get a never-ending stream of requests for one-offs. You know, it, yeah. it's like yeah. every show, customer service emails. You know, everyone wants a single one-off barrel in in some you know completely wacky configuration. Oh yeah, um, of course. You know, so. I mean, I'm trying to think of any other thing that's like really totally off the wall. So that that's kind of interesting because that's something that I, I kind of would like to know on the manufacturing side. So let's just say that you're going to come out and you've decided to do a Beretta 92 barrel in today's meeting. Okay. From the today's meeting to the time that it hits the market, typically, how long is a process when you start down that road of a new barrel? Um. Well, new barrels might only spend uh, like a a couple months in development. Um, you know, if if it's a new AR barrel, <clears throat> it might be way shorter than that. You know, if it's if it's us release, releasing a you know a twelve inch five five six AR barrel, you know that's that's something that is just sort of like a print modification. But um, you know, uh, a new pistol barrel. Um, we probably spend a couple of months um, reverse engineering, drawing up, prototyping, um, you know, testing, test fitting, testing for compatibility, um, you know. But, but I mean, they can they can roll out relatively quickly. You know, a couple months in in a product development cycle is not really. Um, you know, not really that big of a deal. And, you know, so the, so the the barrels the barrels come together pretty quickly. You know, the the accessories. You know, when we when we step into something that we don't have have um, any prior basis for. You know, the the development cycle lengthens. Right. And I don't think that's I think that's is, one is thing that I don't think the audience gets is the general public has no idea. It's not like you can just put the dimensions in some CNC machine and say, it'll be ready for you in three hours, sir, you know? <laughs> right. right. It was, it's pretty much based on, on just a, like, you know, a, a demand for as far as, as barrels and stuff go like that. You're like, you know, like, listen, if, if somebody wants one, you're like, not going to happen. But if, if a thousand people are like, you know, hey, are you doing a VP9 or, you know, whatever, then they're like, all right, we know. We might think about yeah. it. Our customer service team keeps, um, keeps a spreadsheet of, customer requests and so we actually cool. pay attention to it you know they they have this this log sheet that i created um you know years ago and they keep they keep filling it in for customer requests and and we do base a lot of um a lot of product development decisions on that you know if, if we get a yeah. lot of input for you know for something it gets bumped up the list you know yeah, and, that's awesome and uh, you know i mean so I mean, we tr we try to pay attention to you know to the customers. I mean, you know, when when somebody's just you know writing in and asking for something, and they're the only person on earth asking for it, it's probably not going to happen. But you know, if, if if a preponderance of people want something, uh, it gets bumped up my list. Yeah. Has there been like one of those products that? Like the whole planning and design and all that, the a lot of you guys are like, man, I just don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work, and then it blows up to be huge. Have you had any of those type stories? Um, you know, I I think we had that relative re 
relatively recently on on our pistol comps um so it's a you know relatively new product line for us um mm -hmm. and i i was a little um well we got two of them Man. the matrix just broke guys i'm just yeah. saying jeff broke the matrix i'm getting rid of you know but the the pistol comp thing um you know i, I thought it was a worthwhile product line to to get into i i mean i like pistol comps i think they have their their uses i think that if they're okay. they're near correctly um they can really contribute you know but i wasn't really um i wasn't really certain on it they're difficult part to make for as as small of an accessory as they are you know they they require um they require capabilities that you know that are that are just a little tricky. They're a little fiddly, and so you know, trying to fit them into our shop floor was a little difficult. You know, it's like it requires sort of a complex machine that might be better suited for other things, and um, you know, so so I was I was pretty hesitant about them. You know, it's like okay, this is an accessory part, and it's going to tie up this machine for this many hours, and and you know. But I mean, engineering, you know, engineering did a good job with them. We started testing them. We got really great testing results. Um, you know, we started comparing them with everything else out of the, out there on the market. And, you know, all of a sudden we had a really good product. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. Any kind of, you know, comps are awesome. And, you know, they're that, yeah, they're that niche little thing, but there's only, you know, there's not that many companies out there that do it. And you're always looking like, eh, I wish somebody else would do it. Now you're like, we got one. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and ours, ours ended up testing really well. You know, we, we put a lot of, um, a lot of time into the engineering and testing on them. Um, and, you know, we were really happy at, at the end of the day when we tested them against competition, you know, it was, it was, um, it was, you know, one of those things I was, I was actually like, you know, really satisfied about. I mean, you know, that the engineering team really delivered a good product. Well, you're talking about ammo cost right now and something you probably designed that into the testing right through the heart of the ammo weirdness. Yeah. How, how many rounds do you think you guys put through those comps before you were satisfied that all right, these are good? God, I don't even know, Zach. Any idea? Uh, I mean, I can't really say for sure. The tens I mean, of thousands, it, or I mean, there's a giant pile of brass at the right. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of brass at our shop, but not just from that. Um, but I, I think it was relatively short time before we were like, "Oh man, these are these are good." Like, it didn't take any time at all to realize that this was a really good product. So we didn't have to put a whole bunch through. Um, but I mean, I'd say we put at least. A, close to a thousand maybe you know plus yeah. you know I, that's just a rough guess I, they could have put well, five yeah, that's, that's all more than guess. enough yeah, yeah i mean so but yeah jay jay answered that pretty good i mean our engineering team really knocked this one out of the park and especially i mean correct me if i'm wrong but you know you don't need to change your you typically will not need to change your guide rod either i mean these are designed to work yeah. with a with a stock god guide rod so I mean, every yeah. other comp I've bought is, and usually it's on a cut slide too, so that's kind of adds an extra variable. But I mean, this is yeah. I mean, I go. I, that was that was part of you know part of my design requirements was you know that they successfully test without changing guide rod or spring. You know, so so that was that was going to be a little tricky. I mean, we have of course a, a disclaimer on our website that says that you know any any modification or accessories on your pistol you know may require that you modify or accessorize other parts of it like the guide rod and spring but right. you know part of part of my design requirements was these things uh function with factory guide rod and spring and you know and they did i mean they do that's a, that's always a bonus i mean like i said it's a, you know quick and easy you know you know, you can make it thread right on, and then you're done, and not have to change out anything else, which is great. Yeah, because I'm I'm a big fan of comps. I mean, it's it helps. I mean, people are like oh whatever. I'm like, listen, it helps a lot. It really sure. does. It really does. I mean, 
it makes the uh, shooting experience entirely different. Yeah. I remember the, you know, the first time I shot a comp pistol, I was just blown away about it. Uh, it was our former head of marketing, uh, Kurt's uh, Glock 19. Um, you know, we were we were in the process of testing our FX-19s, um, or I think it was a little pre-testing, and we went to the range, and he had he had his his carry gun uh, with a comp, and I'd never shot a comp pistol before, you know, I, I just never shot one. And I remember, um, you know, I was, I was trying to get a feel for how our FX-19 felt versus other pistols on the market. And I remember shooting his with the comp on and just being like, okay. <laughs> was that before or after the fire? That was that was before the fire. That was before the um we stress uh we stress tested our FX nineteen in development. We did a fifteen thousand round um stress test on, oh, nice. on a pistol and we had a timetable that we had to hit. Um I think it was due to shot, you know, we had shot show coming up. We wanted to say this product was complete. And so we had like a week long period where we had to put 15,000 rounds through this pistol. And, uh, you know, we had a firing schedule, you know, it was all, it was all like, you know, pretty clear cut, shoot this many rounds, you know, let cool for this long, shoot this many rounds. Um, but we we're shooting in, you know, our bullet trap couldn't handle 15,000 rounds in that short time. And so, <laughs> Facts and Machining had just bought um, a building next door to them that was an empty shell of a building. And so we took a bullet bunker and we put it in the corner of the building and um, we scheduled shifts. I, I, I made a scheduling uh, spreadsheet and we scheduled shifts, uh, two shifts a day of straight shooting over there. Uh, you know, we had rotating people and- That would suck. It the was rubber membrane the membrane the Yeah, the, the rubber membrane on the bullet bunker was falling apart. It's stuffed with old conveyor belts. Um, and at some point we're shooting and it sparks against the back of the bullet bunker and there's all this unburned powder all over the floor. You know, probably a 40 by 40 area starts starts smoking and smoldering and you know there's fire luckily though the shell of a building had fire extinguishers in it so but that was me shooting when it caught fire there you go at least it was you somebody else had just took like they fire and they're like all right i gotta get out of here i'm yeah, out of here I'm out. I'm gone. Um, right <laughs> What are you doing over there, Jeff? What's going on? Hey, hey, hey Jeff. Jeff, Whoa, man. family, family yeah. friendly, family friendly. Yes, <laughs> this is not only fans yet. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to nuke him if he keeps that stuff I'm, up. I'm clearly less than 100. Yeah. Here, let me, here let, me get, get, let me get let me get, let me get back, back up, up here. here. I, I'm, I'm clearly clear. less than 100 percent competent here. <laughs> well, you but you want to see again? I will say that is that is. Well, oh, here God. we go. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call it the ghost cam. Oh, thanks. Ghost testicles. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh that, that is you one know, thing hey. that's actually that's so enough of that. Terrible is like everyone's like, man, you get to go test your products, and it's like, yeah, it's really fun for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Constant just running rounds and just shooting a burning hot gun yeah. and like reloading sucks. Up. Right. Yeah, I mean. You know, the Mag Lula is making it a little easier, but still, it's just like... Uh, it's you just... have an eight-hour shift of loading mags yeah. and shooting three That's... mags, letting pistol See, cool for six minutes, shoot three mags, let pistol See, cool for six I, I minutes. Will, if, I ever, if I ever applied to be like in a gun manufacturer, barrel manufacturer company, I would definitely not within three months of shot show because i know exactly what my job would be during shot show is reloading mags on yep, range exactly day. not gonna oh, do yeah. it not gonna do it yeah, there's been yeah. some times where they're like hey you want to come to the range we're doing this thing and i'm like nope. mm, I'm busy. <laughs> all right especially like my first year in fact it was like did you say range oh yeah oh, like yeah like uh yeah. no nah, i'm okay <laughs> 
All right. Thanks for uh You're back, I, think, Jeff. I I was listening. I think the show got better when when my computer freaked it out. It usually does. I'm just, I you actually know. had to I had to reboot the computer and I wonder if if this isn't what did it. I'm using a different audio setup this week. Um Why do I've you, been using it broke, don't fix it. I know, I know. And I've had a a nice little USB mic that I've been using for a while. And no. and uh, a company, uh, TZ Audio, wanted to send me the Stellar X3. This is like the first bougie mic I've ever had. And uh, I was like, you know what? They want to send me a $350 microphone. It makes I you look it. better. It does. It Everything does. makes me look better. Well, um, anything. So, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame it on the mic and say somehow that setup is what killed it. I don't know. Right, cool. not using like iPhone three headphones like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you keep that with your iPod you touch? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I got this with the Motorola flip phone. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I love it. You know, usually we harass ghosts, but now we oh, have no. Zach said it was his very Bring first it. time coming on a broadcast like this. Like, Bring holy it. crap. Ghost is, ghost is used to it. Broken yeah. Jay, and I, you know, Jay and I joke around it, all the time that, like, our jobs at Faxon are really just to, like, rile other people up, you know, just, like, talk crap to them and get them all like, what, what's going on? You know, like, Perfect. That's typically, that's like, my job. job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ghost oh. is the stool. I'm taking the screen back to show off. What are you doing? If Ooh, that. Added. Facts and barrel. Oh, yeah. This was uh, oh, this yeah. is the old Gear Report logo. This is this is from back in the day, right? So, yep, yeah, that um, was pre almost pre was, that was almost pre TJ. Yeah, the Gear Report with the gears all over it, and then the flame fluted barrel underneath. Oh, just you know, I've got a I've got a present when you show up at uh, the gathering this year. Really. You aren't gonna tell me what it is, are you? Oh, I've got a I've got a present for Jeff too. But you're showing up at uh, at the gathering. I've got some. I got a present for Jeff too. Listen, I'm getting scared. I bet you do. Oh, Chris. you should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you guys? Is faxing going to be at the gathering? Do you know what the gathering is? No, oh, I don't. Heard that. Is that it's like a, the uh, the, the gathering that? of the juggalos? What's the owl thing in like California? Burning I don't know. Like no, so I got to tell you, it's what? an event. Palmetto State Armory. Put on this event. They did the first one last year. Oh, and yeah. somebody, somebody was late getting there uh, because he had uh, transportation issues on the way. So I was waiting up for 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 TJ to show up. I appreciate it. And um, and I'm I'm sitting out at. Uh, so this was the night before the event started. So I'm sitting out there with. Uh, um oh geez, Scott from Avant Link and uh Chad from Palmetto. And um man, and I, I I'm sitting here going through all the stuff like nope, can't say that, can't talk about that. Nope, can't even admit that I know that happened. I'm like there's not much of a story left, so never mind. Um no, but anyhow, um yeah, I did forget what the story was about. Anyhow, the gathering is the um, the event that they put on. It's coming up here pretty soon, and we're to go to that. And I I really completely botched that story. You did. This, this guy yeah. knows what uh, Burning Man is. Yeah. Yeah. Though that would be. Oh, I know what the story was. So right. we're out there. I made the mistake of trying to keep up with Chad Wiley. If you ever run across the Palmetto State Armory CEO at a bar. Just turn and walk away. Don't even try to keep up. I oh, sat we, there. We sat out there on friends. the patio at the sawmill in in uh, wherever it is in in South Carolina, waiting for TJ. And TJ kept having one issue after another, and kept getting later and later. And I found out real quick. You know, I I don't drink like only when I'm around TJ, which is a couple times a year. And I couldn't keep up with Chad. It was ugly. <laughs> but one of the things I do remember before I got too far gone was someone said, so Chad, did you name this after the the gathering of alternative lifestyle and, you know, homosexual, you know, LGBTQT, whatever, that, that is called the gathering? And he, his face went white, like, wait, what? 
<laughs> and, uh, and that's not to say that that Chad or PSA don't support all kind of lifestyles. It's not to say they do. I'm not saying what they do or don't do. I'm just saying that apparently he was unaware that there was already something called the gathering that was for alternative lifestyles. It was absolutely not a firearms industry event. So I think yeah. we can make it into both if we really try hard enough. Are there the gathering? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm down for the we part on that. But, uh, <laughs> but anyhow, you can do what you want. I'm not going to judge you, which is a complete lie. I'm judging you, you already. It. But you you know, it. I've judged it a long time ago. Yeah. I've been, hey, I've been judged for my. Well, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This show stayed on the rails longer than normal. So yeah, you know, we are completely bit. off the rails at this point. What in the world? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's actually really true. Yep. Uh, I bet the TJ could hang. TJ could have, I think, if he were. Oh, there. Be no, pro no problem but at he all. Would, but, but he didn't show up until like 1 o'clock in the morning. Is that right? Right. Well, I'm going to throw it out there. TJ did have some roadies on the way up. Oh, my so. goodness. This is a kid friendly because, show. We don't talk because about I was that. in the middle of nowhere and I was like, where's this place? I said, where the hell is this place? I kept driving and driving. It was mountains, mountains, mountains. I'm like, I'm never getting there. It was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It was, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was a cool event though. And we'll be back there in what three weeks or so? Three, three days. It was a weeks, different, different different venue though, right? Yeah, different yeah. venue. We'll be at the Clinton yeah. House instead of the sawmill. So different place in South Carolina. And uh, and it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna have a good time. Um, sadly, we won't have our friends from Faxon with their blackout camera for one minute. Okay, I'm not even gonna ask why he did that because that's his business. I will say this kind of neat because Gear Report we cover so many different areas of gear, uh, mostly outdoor stuff. But Az Tom is the owner of Latitude Guitars, so it's good to see him here. Um, we get nice. crossed over every now and then. We'll get some guitar of the people. people show up. The, the guitar people, people show up. Jesus. The guitar people. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. He's probably people. thinking this firearm crowd's a little different. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm a guitar player. You want to see my cool guitar? Oh, sure. Don't get it started. <laughs> no, it's yeah. 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 pretty cool. I just got it not too long ago. Last time yeah. I said yes to something like that, it got oh, really weird. Neat. Oh, okay. That's yeah. a really that's no, no, a really no, guitar. It's, okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty neat. I like so, that. Gotta stay busy somehow, you know. Yeah, I hear you. There's like yeah, six you, guitars in his background over there. Yeah, that's it's cool. Uh, we have some guy that at our work, our shipping manager, Ryan, he would uh he'd be like, Man, what kind of he's gonna ask me, like, what kind of guitars <laughs> do you have back there? Like, you didn't talk to him about that? Yeah, you say I, electric and acoustic. And... I've sold, I've sold a bunch. <laughs> so many. I've sold a bunch. I probably got. I you know I need to go through and count them. I probably have. I probably have about twenty or twenty two in the office right now. Nice. Um, but I I have a reverb store. I buy them locally and sell them on the national market. And, mark them up an exorbitant amount and uh of course yeah. yeah i'm just open about it a lot of people don't uh Listen. but i'll tell you here's one oh, that, geez, uh, here he goes. oh yeah there yeah. it is Check that's it. Fitting. yes that's yeah. got, that has to come to the <laughs> gathering just saying you gotta if bring it room, if there's room i'm actually i'm getting a little worried because i you ooh, whew, that almost fell um the Humvee has got it, it's a huge vehicle, but it has just little seat areas. And it's looking like TJ's flying here, and then um Alan and Jose Juan and I are all going down from this area. So that'll be four of us, plus taking the, the 18 by 25 command tent. We're not gonna have room for anything at all. Like well, we, the we'll banjo room, may we'll have banjo. to we'll I, I can put the chicken shield on top. We'll we'll strap the banjo into. Can we mount the banjo up top? That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mount it up there. You, you do have a turret. I'm just saying. Right. I know it. I know it. I've I have three machine gun mounts now. So I got the swing arm and I have a pedestal for the back. Oh, with a banjo on the swing arm. That'd be kind of cool. Got to get a banjo Actually. mount, and that would be the most epic picture of you rolling down the highway with a banjo <laughs> mounted on a Humvee. 
I'll be hanging out the window with it. Huh. Um, so the, the thing is though, uh, long snob doesn't get one. Snob is not going to get one. No, he'll, he'll get two. I'm sure. Yes. Because he has to outdo me since I have one that I got off of vine. Snob is also a, a part of the Amazon vine, uh, reviewer program. Dual, dual um, wheel good banjo. question, Rod. Thank you. We, we don't know yet. Um, from what ghost was saying, it, it did have kind of a deliver, a del deliverance vibe going which is troubling me a bit <laughs> i vote deliverance well you don't get a vote mystic uh, yeah who do you think you are she can't even drive straight i know the deliverance was in that neck of the woods i'm just saying it was filmed oh, it's a little there. further yeah, west so. thank you a little further <laughs> west we know where it was at uh, yeah well, well the same when you get around there yeah yeah Okay, so we have we've we've spent 51 minutes of the show. We have not talked about what I think is probably um I still think that the ARAC is one of the coolest firearms that I've seen. And yep. when I asked the question right before my screen went bad about um when when is that, you know, do you think it's ever gonna really catch on? I I, I wasn't poking fun or anything. Like legitimately, I am confused as to why it hasn't caught on. Um, so I'd like to see that go someplace. But while while y'all are figuring out what you want to do with that, what can you tell us about this uh, 8.6 project and how you got involved and what you guys are how, contributing to that and everything? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 8.6 project is uh, pretty exciting. We're, we're all pretty pretty geared up uh, about it around the shop. So um, Hugh came to us. Uh, sometime, sometime mid late last year, um, with the project, uh, they were trying to find somebody with the capability to make the barrels. Um, so, so eight, six blackout, uh, is, is around that, um, you know, Kevin and Ethan over at Q have developed and, uh, part of the concept of the round is that it's a super fast twist round so um they are twisting it at one in three and attempting to hit one in one and a half and then one in one twist um you know and and you know for for reference our our ar10 barrels our 308 ar10 barrels are are twisting at one twist per 10 inches so you know, this is more than three times as fast as that. Um, and and they had uh, they had gone through some other barrel manufacturers um, who were not capable of doing it. You know, so so part of part of Q's um, part of Q's uh, thing was they wanted these to be button rifle barrels. You know, they wanted it a uh, as as hard as it is to imagine with a Q product, uh, they wanted an affordable uh, barrel in it. You know, they, they didn't want a cut rifle barrel. You know, you can you can <clears throat> cut rifle those, those super fast twist rates, you know, I mean, relatively easily. Um, but uh, in button rifling, it's um, pretty significantly challenging. Um, okay. It's challenging in the tool design it's challenging in the equipment. Um, it's challenging in, in, in a lot of aspects. Uh, and we, uh, we did it, you know, we were successful in, in designing the tools and, um, and designing, uh, uh, the machining aspect of it. So, um, that's, you know, that is really Faxon's involvement in the project is, is, developing the capability to be able to make these barrels you know so so then in addition to to making barrels for q for their rifles um we're also uh making barrels for our own product line um we're making ar-10 barrels and um remington 700 barrels uh three three skews of each um the, the 86 round was designed around a 12 inch barrel. Um, you know, it was optimized both super and subsonic for a 12 inch barrel. And um, 
you know, so we're doing 12 inch, we're also doing an eight inch and a 16 inch in, in both the platforms. I'm sorry, did you say eight inch? Yeah, yeah, eight inch. Wow, okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy for, um, for a projectile that heavy. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty interesting. You know, the, the performance on it is, um, it's pretty cool. You know, the, the concept of the fast spinning barrel is something that we think is a, sort of a revolutionary thought in the, in the firearms world right now. You know, there's, there's not a lot that changes you know, there's there's not a lot of new things that happen in 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 firearms. I mean, not a lot of really actually new things. You know, you're you're shooting, you know, a, a piece of lead downrange. You know, is propelled by you know propelled by you know some sort of combustible powder, right? And um, you know, traditionally people have always used um, spin on a bullet as a stabilization mechanic, right? You know, how, how do you keep this bullet flying straight and, you know, in the air, you rifle it, you know, you spin it. Um, and Q's concept here is using the spin as an energy delivery mechanism, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, you have, you have a translational energy with a projectile, but you know, you also have a rotational energy and, you know, in, in a typical, a typical barrel and a 308 spinning in one in 10, you know, the, the rotational energy is, is so minimal that nobody calculates it. Nobody pays attention to it. You don't even figure right. it in your ballistics calculations. You know, it's, it's like, you know, when you're calculating energy on target, you know, you're calculating the translational energy and, um, you know, what, what, Q's doing, you know, what Kevin and, and Ethan and the guys over there are, are thinking about is, you know, as, as this thing is spinning faster and faster, um, you know, all of a sudden the rotational energy is a significant component of it, you know, so, so the, you know, the, the energy, the rotational energy, you know, is, is proportional to the square of the, the rotational velocity, right, you know, one half that's what know, i was about to say M, you know mv squared or for rotational one half i omega squared you know so so you you get you know as as i mean right right so bro so i eat crayons so you're gonna have to speak like real slower <laughs> chair was done like four minutes ago you should have seen like my face while him and our engineer were talking about this i'm just like Mm -hmm. You know, but but a, a one in a one in ten projectile. You know, if if you spun that at one in one, it would deliver a hundred times as much rotational energy. You know, because mm -hmm. it's working on the square of the velocity increase. You know, so so uh, you know, one in ten to one in three is you know nine plus times as much rotational energy. You know, and and so what we're seeing, you know, on the, on the page that Jeff was just on, you know, with the ballistic test is, you know, with the gel test is, you know, we're seeing um, a really interesting um, effect in wound cavity, you know, so, so you have, you have these, these fast spinning projectiles. And, and when you're, when you're talking about rotational kinetic energy, you know, it's not just a straight addition to the translational kinetic energy, you know, it's, it's working in, in different vectors, you know, so you, you have this really um, dramatic cavitation in, in that top image, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty, yeah. um, we're excited about it. I'm excited yeah. about it. <laughs> so are you finding that, um, is it helping um, how, how do I want to ask this question? Like a lot of the uh, rifle rounds, you, you run a risk, especially the ones that are traveling fast, that aren't really spinning at, at this kind of spin rate. Um, you can get a complete pass through where the bullet takes the bulk of its energy with it. So right. are you finding that this higher spin rate when paired with, I'm curious what you're finding with just regular jacketed bullets, but I'm, I'm thinking like 
if I shoot a deer with this and it's spinning that fast when it hits, is uh, is that uh, hollow point expanding round going to just balloon out? Because now you got that centrifugal force kind of pulling it out to bloom a little bit more. Is this going to be like a razor bloom going through the cavity as well? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, the, we're working, the ammo development is happening mainly on the gorilla side and mm -hmm. discrete ballistics. You know, so um, gorilla posted an image of one of their machined uh, copper projectiles, uh, you know, maybe a week or two ago on their Instagram. And, um, you know, they're, they're doing some things to optimize for expansion on this fast twist rate. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think that um, spinning this fast is is really doing some interesting stuff. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, even with even with a solid projectile, I mean, you know, you have you have a tumble mechanic that's that's right. driven by yaw. You know, I mean, well, that's what I was going to ask if you're seeing the any degradation and stability that, that causes more of a, a, a tumble by the time it hits or or is it staying more, you know, a tight spiral all the way in and like you need a bone deflection or something to get the tumble? Well, I don't think that, um, you know, I, I have not been part of part of all of their their ammo testing so you know i'm i'm just um i am i am not as as into the ammo testing as you know the guys over at gorilla but i mean i don't think we're seeing a degradation of stabilization but you know i mean all of all of the tumble is determined by yaw and and you can say that a properly stabilized bullet has a certain degree of yaw as it travels you know and that's like something like like one to three degrees i think um is is like a general number you're you're sort of shooting for so it translates to like two to six total degrees you know one one to three on axis so two right. to six overall you know but with the faster spin mechanic i mean as as that thing hits you know you're seeing pretty dramatic pretty dramatic things in wound cavity yeah, I'm, it's I'm, going to be I'm, interesting to me to see the difference between an eight inch barrel and an 18 inch barrel, um, how much that's going to affect yeah. the ballistics as well. And I think some of these are going to expand maybe a little quicker on impact. Some of them might penetrate a little bit more before expanding and tumbling and all that. Now, a lot of that's going to have to do with the energy coming out of the muzzles as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, I am all, I'm also pretty curious to see what, what the energy coming out of the muzzle looks like at, at different barrel lengths. You know, I, I think that we're still a little, little early in the data collection portion of this. Well, I'm a big fan. Something I really like to encourage folks, especially in a position like you're in where maybe you don't have all the, all of the answers just yet. Just make some shit up. We don't know any different. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll quote you on it, but yeah. no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I do respect that, uh, you know, stay in your lane, talk about what you know. And if you don't know, then, you know, uh, just just tell us, yeah, that, that's outside of my wheelhouse. And we, we like that answer better than making stuff up. Uh, let's see yeah. if I got the right screen up here. Yes, I do. Sure okay. I mean, we we're all it. super excited about it over here. You know, we're all super excited about the 86 project. You know, oh, we're yeah. trying to get involved as much as we can. But, you know, ammo's been um, really limited so far. You know, we've done um, we've done initial testing, but man, we, we haven't done really, you know, thorough testing. We have, uh, I just talked to Gorilla a couple of days ago and they have um, a thousand rounds on, on their way to us. Uh, you know, for, for some accuracy testing, both super and sub. Um, so we're pretty excited about that because I mean, all of our accuracy testing prior to this was, you know, was done off of 80 rounds that we had for development purposes. You know, <laughs> we were, we were trying to tune gas systems, you know, in the gas guns. And we were also tr trying to, you know, do some initial accuracy testing on our barrels. Right. Well, I thought they shot pretty well 
there at SHOT Show. Yep. And I really wanted to show some of these pictures, uh, especially that one. I'm a sucker for anything with the, with our logo on it. Yeah. Um, That's sexy right there. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, it's not. TJ. Um, <laughs> let's see. We can go back. But, but this is this is part the neat part of the story that I think sometimes people don't get. Like if you if you haven't been around the industry and, you know, I, I think that um, I think Zach said something earlier about, oh, you get to go test all your guns and stuff. Well, you go to the range for an event like this. SHOT Show Range Day is always exciting. We'll test it. Not just because of the new stuff, but because of the stuff that you can see people like about to shit themselves like, please work, please work, please work. Because they just put it together mm -hmm. like on the van ride over that morning. You know, yeah. some parts that showed up, you know, they, they had a courier drive it in overnight, you know, <laughs> um, but and, and that's not to characterize what you guys were doing here. But I didn't see any factory ammo because it doesn't exist. You know, all of it was exactly. like exactly. loaded with little marker stuff on them talking about, uh, mm. you know, the different different things, uh, specifics for each of those rounds. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can't speak for really a lot of the things before me, but I mean, to be frank, you know, we make pretty good stuff. Not to say that we're the best barrel manufacturer out there, but, you know, we're pretty confident in our results that we get with, you know, pretty much everything we make. You know, I can't think of anything that we've ever, you know, done and we're just like, oh, my God, this thing is not accurate at all. You know, <laughs> so like, you know, we're I don't, I don't think we're really concerned about um, the accuracy or anything like that. So. You know, we're still obviously going to test this stuff, but you know, it's not. It's not really. Well, was was there nerves not just from maybe you guys, but from all of the different companies that came together on this this project, the H six? Was there nerves prior to shot uh, the range day? I mean, was it like, oh my god, I hope this really all together works. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I th I think there was. I mean, you know, we we had had the barrels completed far enough in advance that you know we knew it functioned i uh, i mean and and we had done initial initial accuracy testing and you know we were holding with with subsonics you know sub half minute at at 100 yards you know which which was which was a, you know a good acceptable outcome for us but I mean, like I said, we had 80 rounds to test the initial barrels. <laughs> That's you know, crazy. You know, yeah. We had we had 40 <laughs> supers and 40 subs, and you know, thank God for Gorilla because we sent we sent uh, some of our gas gun barrels over to Gorilla so that they could assemble them in their receiver sets, and they did some testing on the gas hole sizes and the gas systems. You know, so that we didn't have to use our 80 rounds to do that. <laughs> you know, because yeah. because we just didn't have enough. You know, we, we were like, I mean, Gorilla luckily was you know was willing to do that for us. So that was you know that was really nice. But I mean, yeah, you always go into range day with this this fear that it won't work. You know, that something won't work. I mean. You know, Faxon has experience with this. We went to, you know, we went to Range Day in, in 2013, 2014 with the ARAC. And I remember showing up to Range Day with a toolkit of spare parts in case something broke, you know, and, and I don't think yeah, it did. It. I mean, you know, I think we had really, really okay Range Days, you know, back back with the ARAC. But, you know, I mean, that, that experience sticks with you, you know. Am I going to show up and is it going to break? You know, but yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, this year it, it went well. We had subsonic sighted in at 350 yards and we had super sighted in at a thousand yards. And I mean, people were hitting targets all day. You know, it was, yeah. it was, it was, a, you know, a satisfying experience. Yeah. I'll second that. I thought uh, yeah, it was, it was and, nice. And it was we nice. didn't, wasn't that wasn't that the only one we actually sat down at on in the long range area, TJ? Yeah, pretty or much. We, maybe maybe two. It was the second one. We we what, sat down at two. What are there? 15, 20 different tables with guns. Yes. And that is one that we made time for. Um because yeah. I mean it's uh, this year we actually had a little bit more time. Usually when we go to the big shot show range day, 
Um, I'm usually only there for half of the day and then I'm going somewhere else, whether it's uh, one of the brands that's doing a private event or uh, we've gone out to Nellis to the ATAC show a couple times in the afternoon. So that means we got a whole butt through yeah. all of them and we're just getting big roll and stuff. They have, that, they have that out there. And we actually had a little bit more time this year, which was really cool. We got to slow down and yeah, like we probably spent three times as long at the facts and lane as we would have been able to in prior years. And that was, that was neat because both of us got to shoot it. Yeah. Um, which, you know, something brand new like this to, to be able to see it and, and, you know, hold the rounds and like, holy crap, this thing's heavy. You know, that's one yeah. thing, but to shoot it and be able to say, you know, I know I'm not the greatest shot in the world, but I was hitting stuff that was way out there and it wasn't difficult. You know, the gun was definitely holding its own. It, it, uh, yeah. something brand new like this, man. Yeah the round sounds good on paper, but like, if I take it out hunting, am I, am I going to hit the deer? Is, am I going to graze it? Is it, you know, is, is accuracy, uh, you know, they call it around here in central North Carolina, they call it minute of pie plate. Um, you know, if, if you can hit the, 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 you know, pie plate tray, like the, the, uh, yeah. yes, I know. What is it like the, the tin thing that you make a pie in the yeah. foil? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice, that. Nice and literally, it'll take those are paper plates and go tack them up yeah. at 100 yards. If you hit the plate, it's good. I'm like, really? Really? Okay. This is what passes for accuracy? Pretty much. Ancestors not starve, you know? But uh, but anyhow, um, I want better accuracy than that. And, and what I saw out of that, uh, I think it was the bolt gun that we had up on the screen a little while ago. Um, we shot both of them, didn't we? We shot it both of them. Semi, yeah, we got shot both of them. Semi and a bolt gun. Yep. And they they both ran really well. So yeah. so that that's neat. I'm very anxious to see where that round goes because yeah. it uh, that was one of those. Wait a second. Did that say eight point six? Did that really say eight point six? You know. I saw because I saw I that round and I heard like, anything about it. Yeah, I, I saw that round. I was like, man, this is a whole new meaning to or just the, the phrase "just the tip." I was like, that was a big <laughs> ass round. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. We're like, we gotta yeah. shoot this. All right. So we're pushing a little over an hour and twelve <sighs> minutes here. Uh Therefore. we've got a new guest that showed up late as usual. And we're not gonna start over for you, G23. But normally when G23 shows up, um, he harasses us, we harass him. That's kind of our thing, right? But I want to call him him? out publicly um, on Trey's show a couple days ago. G23 popped in and made a big donation that went to one of the charities that Ghost Tactical supports. Trey, do you want to talk about that? Absolutely. And I don't want to embarrass him or anything, but I just want to give him like a high five here and say that was really cool. So don't don't do a super chat to us because we don't donate like that. I'm not fishing (laughs) for a super chat from you. I'm saying that was awesome, and I just want people to know about it. Yeah, it was. um, We started this about a little over uh, about a year, almost a year and a half ago, that all of our super chats, they go towards sending care packages downrange to our, our troops over there. And G23s, uh, you know, over the last year and a half, we've been able to raise probably about $1,500. Um, and each, they say, uh, they say that the average care package costs about $15. So, I mean, there's 100 care packages in the last year and a half. We've theoretically been able to ship over, and that's, which is great. Um, but, yeah, G23 came in with 50 bucks, and he does that a couple times a year. And, and uh, so, yeah, he's he's – He's awesome. He's a good person up there in the Pacific Northwest and doing good stuff. And yeah, actually, I think he had a question for Faxon earlier as well. But uh, yeah, yeah he, he, does to, a, uh, he does. He's a really good guy. I wanted yeah. to comment on that and maybe bring him back down to earth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> does he know what Forty Smith and Weston actually is? <laughs> it's, it's not really a. It's a fud round, you know. Oh my he is. He is all in on the forty, man. He is all in. <laughs> I I, yeah. I almost bought a three fifty seven for my first. I, I told people, <laughs> but I realized, oh wow, nine mil. I'll tell you, the only thing that I can say about the They're forty that adult. is good is that the three. Yeah, the only thing about the forty is that it, be, it can be converted to three fifty seven sig, 
that's the only thing that's good for a 40. No, yeah. mine. So I've got I've got a um what is it, a 226, a SIG um in 40, and I have a conversion, so it'll shoot nine. So the See, Lord's caliber. I mean, that's it, it seems to be a trend here. Yeah. You have a 40, but it doesn't shoot 40. Right. <laughs> no, there's I mean there's Why nothing. We buy the 40? There's nothing wrong with 40 per se, other than that it's superior, <laughs> but like yeah, it's it's all good. I mean, you know, maybe we will in the future, but yeah, it's not. I mean, just, unfortunately, just say no. Of, just tell them no. no. I'm not gonna say no because you know, if enough people ask for it, we'll probably do it. But like, all five of them, you don't have you don't you have to make him feel better about himself. He's the only one. He is the only person in the forty lobby. I promise you, he's yet. No. He's it. So you don't two, have to make him them. happy. There, there's two of them. There was okay. a guy at Shot Show that came up to me and he's like, "Hey, oh. I have this uh, AR." 40 i guess you call it it's like an ar9 but she's 40 and he's like the i, I messed up my barrel like Why? do you guys think you'll ever make another 40 cal rifle barrel and i'm like was he shooting it through know. a nine millimeter barrel no of course he was having uh he was having cycling issues because it's a 40 cal you know so right. it's not designed to shoot uh so he i guess he tried to polish his like his feed ramps uh, like, and he ruined the barrel like, we sell yeah <laughs> i'm like oh, we might have a 45 barrel laying around but i don't know about 40 <laughs> So, so okay, <laughs> and and I I will tell you one another good thing about forty, or the good thing about forty, whatever, is when you couldn't find ammo for anything, you could find yes. it for forty. Find I'll 40. agree. I, I will give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. And ten mil. Yeah. For some reason. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Here was three fifty so, legend was the only thing you could find. Oh, okay. But we were well, like our, our my gun shop was good, but they had uh, th like they kept the the nine for the range itself and the five five six for the range itself. So but they had forty four fifty Bushmaster mm. and ten mil. And I was like, well, I don't want any of that stuff. So our our gun but, shop you know, was able now they have to pallets of it laying around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he was able to keep a, a, a box of whatever caliber. That he had on the shelf for guns, like if he had ten nine mils and ten forty five or whatever, he would have a box of ammo for each of the guns he sold. But other than that, like hmm. yeah. it was odd calibers. Like yeah, they kept, them, they kept them for the, the for for the range, the shooting range. They kept them for that. And like if you were shooting, you'd buy the ammo. If you weren't shooting, tough luck. And I was like, well, hmm. you buy some four fifty Bushmaster. I was like, why? Yeah. It's a 40. I was like, no, no, I'm good. Yeah. It's like, I'll take the 10 mil before anything. So I bought a lot of 10 mil for some reason. I have a ton of 10 mil now. I do too. I can't. I know. It. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? I don't even have a 10 mil. Some, some ammo brand sent me Jeffrey. a bunch of 10, and I don't have a gun to shoot it yet. So I got to get one. I'll take some off your hands if you're wanting to. No, it's okay. I think uh, it's it's going to be for a review for Gear Report. I'm just saying you'll yeah, yeah. you'll benefit from I it. I hear you. I hear you. I think uh, I think I'm going to send Cat a note and say, "Hey, that P40's got my name on it." So that's a that's a ten. We shall see. Y'all want to make it a ten millimeter? Hey, you, you got that ten millimeter? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have made 10 mil. Uh, I think it was all OEM though, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, we have in the past, you know, but uh, that's not gonna make it in the product list anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry there, Jeff. Okay. So I want to make a one-off request. Really? Just saying, how about a uh, oh, a 10 God. millimeter barrel for a Springfield Ronin? Like, just yeah. saying, you know. Just saying. They said People have been throwing off one-off one barrels. Request. I'll take one. I'll throw my hat in the ring. But that's in high demand. Exactly. There's no tray. There's going to be a throwdown here. Rod from Aegis Gun Care. Well, yeah. We're going to fight Trey for the 10 millimeter. That, I wouldn't even offer I wouldn't that last 10 I seconds. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I right. love Rod, but, you know, it's what it is. 
Yeah, I the guy's name Rod. is Rod. He wasn't saying he loves Rod. Okay, I, I just wanted to yeah. clarify that. You can I'm take it however that. you want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wow. And if we weren't off the rails then, we are now, you, folks. Yeah. You set a tray. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I walked right into that one, no pun intended. <laughs> you. It's all right, yeah. buddy. Still you guys it. are going to go back to the office tomorrow and say, I don't even want to talk about it. Yep. No, I mean, I'll tell you right now that uh, I was pretty much sworn the crying to game. Uh, be very polite. Oh, uh, yeah. I had, to get, uh, I had to get marketing there, approval to bring Zach on. Yeah, I didn't uh, watch the show before. They're going to have to take showers just thinking about this. I <laughs> well, I these mean, guys yeah, are yeah, the show's exactly. great. Don't get me wrong, but... I can't, you know, I'm not trying to have Bob Fax and be like, you're never going on anything again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, so here's what we'll do. We're like, it's not his fault. Do. It's our fault. I'll take the blame. Oh, for okay, it. right on. Right on. You, <laughs> may, uh, you may or you I don't may mind. Not. I'll take the blame. Blame TJ. You may or may not have um, additional invitations show up in your inbox at some point to sure. just come on where you're not representing a brand. Right. Then you can just chat. Then you can see you. We'll see what our boundaries are because we don't even know. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously a natural. With this, see, so. yeah, you can, yeah, you, 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 you can keep somebody. you can keep the camera off and make your name like Pat or something, and no one would know. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah. it's a perfect name. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, y'all are old enough to get the reference of Pat. Maybe Zach isn't, well, yeah, but most of y'all are old enough to get two, the reference to Pat. References there, actually, yeah, there's a, there's right. a couple different references there, yeah. but we won't talk about it. Yeah. 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 So, um, <laughs> Not live. Yeah, speaking of which, oh, come on. Three yo's, OB. Two yo's. You know how this works. Three yo's or nothing. Maybe she gets two. So snob just shows up with one. Well, if you add if you add him and snob together, you get three. So there you have it. Let's start looking up terms on Google. All right, Rod. That <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Rod. <laughs> Rod. Yeah. That's a segment we do every now and then where they they throw out um what, oh, what, let's what, Google it. like Oops. urban dictionary type terms I've never heard of. <laughs> a very brilliant thing because apparently I have some rather animated reactions. That was a horrible <laughs> show. I mean, it was funny as hell, but <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was informative. You know, for Jeff, it was. We all knew. We all knew, and we were waiting for Jeff to look it up, and it was like, oh my! He was like, oh, I, I'm, not even, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even. Don't even <laughs> acknowledge that last comment. Yeah. Yep. So anyhow, let, let's 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 bring it back to where we should be here. So <laughs> the wet. I do have one more. Is there a ref? Is there a reference point where this was actually normal? Uh, hey, do you want to tell them about the tapered um, muzzle? Oh yes, you can tell them about the tapered muzzle. Well, okay, I don't really know anything about it. Um, but no, it's uh, supposedly much better for suppressors. Uh, no, we we um all so all of our eight six barrels will be tapered at the muzzle end, uh, because there's a theory that that you know taper sits straighter, um, oh, center than, a flat, thing. You know, than a flat shoulder. So, hmm. you know, I think I don't know if that's what we'll you know continue to add on to our barrel line. I think it's a good idea. Uh, it seems to be pretty popular. So you know maybe that's something to look out for. But yeah. Interesting. Was this okay. was this your first jump into the tapered barrel? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've done o other OEM work with a tapered end, um, but this will be our first big jump. So, our first facts and brand offering that yeah. has that. Yeah. Okay, so that that is interesting. We'll have to. We, when you get something to production, we'll have to kind of follow up on that and see um, where that has gone. All right. I am going to try something different. Normally, StreamYard, the tool that we use for for this, can be a little obstinate sometime. So let me see. I'm going to, hmm, do I want to do the entire screen? That feels dangerous. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to do the entire screen. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Whoa. All right. 
Yeah, what? that's kind of messing oh me my up. God. Here. All right. What so on? what I want to do, what I want to do hey, there's Kurt. is uh, like yeah. a tour of some of our prior facts and coverage. Kurt, uh, next time you see Kurt, you got to tell him you heard about him, him uh, stumbling into a white castle in Vegas one <laughs> evening. Um, and I say stumbling and that's kind of being generous, I think. Um, so yeah, every time we see him, like, dude, where's the White Castles? So, yeah, I'll have to ask him about that. So, oh yeah, yeah, it was several years ago, but uh, it was right after. It, I think you know, I think it was right after. Um, oh, what was his name? Nathan left, and Kurt had just gotten promoted. It was his first shot show, being in charge. I think, and uh, yeah, anyhow. I think that's probably more than enough information on that. But okay, so we did the um, in 2018, late 2018. That was M and P pistol slides, and then let's see. We already saw this one with uh, Bob talking about the Iraq back in 16, and we had the muzzle break here on. Uh, one of our review guns. We just throw accessories on that to do accessory reviews. And what was this one? Oh, the little tiny muzzle brake. That was actually kind of neat. Um, and that went on one of our lightweight builds. So that worked out pretty well. That was a cool little uh, tiny little brake. Yeah, they're convenient. Yeah. And, oh, and this is the bigger uh, review. That was just on that one thing and now this one is oh we even got some uh barrels in there as well i think that was from a table at that iraq veteran yeah. event as well just talk about the brand and i've got one of those rainbow um flame fluted in um what is it in an mmp i think at a shield maybe i don't know it's in the safe at quarter horse arms right now because I don't even know why it's there. I don't know. Alan just has a whole bunch of my stuff in his safe. So it's a very yeah. popular coating. I mean, a lot of people are very happy about it. So. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty. It, it looks really it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I also like to whenever we have a whenever we have a, a brand on to share how you can follow them. So you can find them on Facebook and uh Let's see. And we had the regular uh, website, faxandfirearms.com. So Facebook is um, uh, Fax and Firearms with no space. And let's see. Look at that. Instagram, Fax and Firearms. You guys are very, very um, consistent. Good job, dude. All right. The, the ARAC, people I take a, a moment to notice the tab game going on right there. Is that so special? Oh, it's dude. <laughs> So it's you know this you know that I went through and closed open. all my extra tabs, right? <laughs> yeah. Normal I, I literally closed about twenty-five tabs right before the show. Just so I have I'll be impressed when all I see are the little logos. I yeah. get panicky when I see that many tabs. <laughs> yeah. That used to be me like three years ago, so I get it. Yeah. Have you figured out like a way around that? Uh no, not really, because honestly, I still like I think the last three weeks uh, before this past Friday, I did not shut down my work computer one time. Yeah. And I had the same just windows open for like three weeks. Just so much I, easier that way, though. It is. It's convenient. It's easy. Especially it's if you're ADHD. I mean, that that's like yeah. the perfect squirrel tab. It makes like, you feel ooh, safe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, it's yeah. just like, ah, I got this, this, this three screens, you know. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I keep this stuff open. If it's open, it means I have some unfinished business that I exactly have yes. to address before I close it. Because if I close it, <laughs> ooh, shiny. Gone. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, gone. It. Yes. it's gone. Ain't never going to happen. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, let's see here. Do they have an idea when they're going to get some more 16 inch with integrated muzzle device? I need one for my F to ATF build. 
<laughs> I just saw that question. Uh, I know I released some this week. I know there are some that are currently sitting at the end of production. So, um, I mean, we have six, six different SKUs with um, with integrated muzzle devices on them. So I'm not sure what's what's about to finish up. But uh, you've got to have some uh, pencil uh, muzzle brake barrels coming soon. Yeah. They've got to be close, so. Yeah. Well, if they aren't the ones, I know I just released a bunch more SKUs this week. So, you know, general processes look like six weeks down the road. Mm. Okay, so maybe maybe we'll make a connection behind the scenes for, um, I'm assuming that Obnoxious is building uh, like a review gun or something, so. Maybe we can hook you guys up and uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If uh, if you can make a connection, I can help out. Awesome, because he says that's the one I need. That's not a little need. That's all caps need. So <laughs> yeah, for what for whatever that's worth. Yeah. All right. Foot this is oh, the one I'm excited about. I've been pushing for TikTok. First of yeah. all, AG23. I'm trying to get TikTok going. Write some God. emails to our customer service. Tell them we need a TikTok. I'm huge on yeah. farmersonly.com. I don't know why. <laughs> Good at dancing. I like, I like yeah. dancing to the TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, geez. Jay's okay. lying. Jay actually gets on TikTok and watches Excel tricks and hacks. That's all he watches on TikTok. You know, oh, there are a bunch of really good Excel tricks and hacks on TikTok, Zach. So, so Trey, I know. Don't get calling. Jeff going. Do not <laughs> get <laughs> Jeff going. It's too late, Trey. Too late, Ghost. He's got. He's, he's already. You see him lean in. He's like, hold on. Uh, he, he, he's he's digging it, in, boys. He this is, you just thought this was going to be over soon. It's, it's, gonna, it's a whole new thing. Because I saw, the, I saw the look on your face. He said spreadsheet. I was like, yeah. <laughs> because they missed me because that's how I manage workflow. I'm a spreadsheet guy too, but no, nah, I'm not that's as big of a fan. That's how I manage the workflow of everything at Gear Report. So they make fun of me it, about it, my spreadsheet. We got an event coming Clover makes today. fun of me when I get back from Shot or NRAM or anywhere I go and I have my stack of business cards. I have a spreadsheet going back five whatever years, and every show I'll have it NRAM 2021 or whatever, you know, whatever it is. And I'll have every business card because here's the thing, the, and, and you guys know about this. Just because you have a contact at a company doesn't mean they're going to be at that company the next year. So exactly. it, it's kind of actually it's nice to go back four or five years and say, well, he was there then. Now he's there. Now he's there. Now he's there. But and it's just one of those things. But yeah, spreadsheets are great. I just don't love them quite as much as Jeff. Jeff, I'm with you. I love everything about spreadsheets, and I will. What happened to Trey, the spreadsheet basher? <laughs> Where did he go? Spreadsheets are awesome, Jeff. I love happen? spreadsheets. Yeah, I Please love don't nuke me off the show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be here. <laughs> Trey, we love spreadsheets, right? They're awesome. I just got finished saying that I love spreadsheets, just not as much as Sasquatch up there. But I mean, let's be, let's be real. He's going to boot me off again, probably. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Days are numbered if you're talking bad about spreadsheets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, yeah, anyhow, I, I, will, I will admit just to, to do fair and balanced coverage of spreadsheets. Um, the point that I decided I had to get out of corporate finance was when I realized that um, they referred to me as the spreadsheet guy. Ooh. And I was like, <laughs> my soul died, like right there on the okay. spot. Like, don't I can't do this anymore. Okay, I'm done. done. Because you weren't given you weren't give the okay. spreadsheet, so you give the job. Don't, don't tell them what we told them. Spreadsheets no, we, job. I'm keeping the spreadsheets. <laughs> it was uh, it, it was a harsh realization. <laughs> yep. Funny thing is, I I'm like the spreadsheet overachiever around around my um my my current uh, you know friend group whatever. Um, I wasn't really that good on on the corporate finance level. I really wasn't that good. So. Yeah. 
Yep. So I'm I'm happy to be out of there. It was ugh, man, gives me chills just thinking about being back in that environment. Of course, they did cater mm -hmm. lunches almost every day, which is kind Cubicles of cubicles give me of, like rashes, like man. That's why I can't. Room. That's why I don't work in an office like that. I can't work in a cubicle. Oh yeah. Well, I had an office, but and I made tons of money. No, but never doing that again. That was terrible. It was soul sucking. Like they can keep the money. Whatever. Nope. I, I owned the life a yacht. Out of you. I, I had a yacht. It, but nope. Happy to be rid of it to not have to deal with that. I agree. Spreadsheets be the downfall of the country. How did I go from like spreadsheet to So you kick me out, but you won't kick yeah. him out for saying that? That's, 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 that's Gary's job. He kicks himself out. <laughs> that's Gary's job. Gary kicked him out. Mm. Don't tell him we call him spreadsheet guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, in fairness, up. in fairness, I had to. I, I don't want to be a hypocrite, you know? Yep. Okay, uh, I think Gary people. would give you, Gary would give you a run for spreadsheet, you know, um, seniority yeah. though. You guys, you guys, it'd be the most boring like show ever. But you two can sit there and talk spreadsheets for hours. <laughs> oh boy! Did you hear the last? Anyways, the last three beats of the my the the soul of my <laughs> my my soul dying. Like oh my god, it's the spreadsheet oh. guy thing all over again. Okay, so. Back, back to fun stuff. So, there we go. Yeah. Of course. Enough of spreadsheets. <laughs> Screw spreadsheets. Yeah. Careful. Um, what, what do you guys, uh, the big 8 6 project that, that you're collaborating on? Was there anything else that you guys are working on, um, just facts and centric, like not with other people that, that you're not allowed to talk about. I'm really only interested in things that like if if Bob didn't call you in the morning and say, dude, what the you hell to talk about that, then I have failed, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know anything, Zach. Should we tell him about the bombs? I'm kidding. That was a joke. I'm sorry, <laughs> what? About the bombs. See, you had me. I, I was ready. I was like, facts and firearms. How, 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 about bombs. Bombs. That is how about the uh, the facts at MP5 build? Is that coming down the road anytime oh, soon? Oh, God. You know, there I, I asked everyone about an MP5. There is a facts and MP5 build. Uh, what? And if I had the key to my safe behind me on me, I'd show you. Uh, sorry, Trey. You know, it's, it's, I, I built a, um, I built a new frontier lower. Uh, that takes MP5 mags and threw our fax and stuff on it. So it's like a little fax and fake MP5 clone. Trey's done. Hmm. I know. Uh, nice. it, it triggers so many people and it's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> they're just it's like, like oh my god, what is that? And then they realize like it's just an AR9 with MP5 mags and they're just like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> See, I was just Fantastic. joking. Now he just he just crushes everything right there. Just, just crushed it. Yeah. He, he doesn't even shoot anymore, Trey. He just keeps it in the safe. I know that's what's frustrating. Just, there. It's just, it's just, just sitting easy. there doing nothing. Hammer's a little expensive, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, should it's we tell shame. them about the comps, Jay? The newer comps. Well, I mean, you know, we have we have some some more comps releasing. Um, you know, within the next couple of weeks here. Um, what hasn't released, Zach? Shield comps, three sixty five comps. Yeah. Because we got the forty three and forty three X, or yeah, yeah. So we have the forty eight, yeah, forty eight, forty three X. Oh, that's right. Yeah, released. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, the comp thing is is something we're spending a fair amount of time on, but you know, it's it's just going to be a determination that with every new pistol barrel edition, we're going to be releasing a comp for it. Um, I mean, we're forward. we're working on expanding the um, the 1022 rimfire line of stuff. We came out with 1022 barrels um, about a year ago, and um, 1022 receivers, and you know, so so I mean, that's sort of a fun side project. I love 1022s. Um, you know, I I think they're a lot of fun. Um, so, you know, it's it's. Uh, you know, so some more 1022 projects in the works. Um, 
bolts, take down stuff, short barrels, chassis. Um, you know, you can you can look forward to seeing some of that. Um, you know, and then then I think that um with the uh with the eight six stuff we're we're getting into obviously um some Remington seven hundred stuff. You know, I mean I think that you can expect mm -hmm. to see that um that product line fleshed out you know so um there we go. so you know we're making the the 86 remington 700 barrels but um it's obviously not going to stop there i'm i mean i'm you know there there will be a fleshing out of the project of the product line all right so when you you've mentioned a couple times the the words uh that you've released are you saying you've released to production or they're through production you've released them to be sold or what does that mean i'm probably using those those interchangeably so uh when i say the glock 43 and the 43 x 48 comps are released uh i i actually mean they're for sale on the website um but when i say like you know the the uh integral muzzle device barrels have been released i mean released to production so uh -huh. I thought I, I thought I picked up on a little different expectation there. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, good. It's kind of like okay. a whole different language where we are. You know, you have the English yeah. language, and it's like lead, lead. You know, huh. wound, wound. Yeah. We're like release, release, and it's like release, release. We know what it is, but someone new <laughs> might not. You know, right? Then you, then you hit the only mag site, and it means something completely different. You really flesh something out there, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're well gonna be done. back on this show. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I actually uh I don't remember who made it, but someone made a follow me on OnlyFans patch and our shipping guy bought me one. It just sits on my desk. And uh, any day now HR is gonna just pull me in their office like hey yeah, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> you're fine. Tell them gear report said you're fine. <laughs> We'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Number, Zach. Just, just, right. just TJ. Don't, There's like a whole just running. Yeah. Tell him TJ. Tell him TJ said it was fine, and it'll be like, okay, cool. What, what, whole... yeah, what, what Jay didn't mention to everybody is this was Zach's farewell to the community Dude. on this show. Yes. Right? <laughs> There's a whole <laughs> running joke of like our HR lady will be like, hey, can you come see me on my office at like 4:45? And I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah, the, the full like, 45 meeting is not a good time. Right, you know, <laughs> you know, like, and sometimes I'll come back to – Jay and I share an office. Uh, so I'll come back in the office and he'll be like, hey, Melinda wants to see you. And I'll be like, what do you mean? Like, what kind of see me? Like, you know? so we just lost electricity like, there for a minute. Well, Sorry about that. Like, it's always just Melinda's paper shredder. Melinda's paper shredder <laughs> breaks every other day, and I fix it. She somehow needs Zach to come fix it every other day. <laughs> True story. Fix it. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got he's got his niche. He's good. He knows he knows exactly what he's doing. He's like, I'm not completely I'm not a true fired. story. There is a real shredder, and I help her with the shredder. There's a real shredder. In not, the oh, oh, I, I thought you. I thought he said he's going to shred her. I was like, no <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we don't actually want to get him fired. As a result. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. um, I like I said, I'm not very smart, guys. I apologize. Blame it on the Marine. I'm sorry. Okay. It's only bad if HR comes to you <laughs> with security. Not necessarily. Like, the, the 445 <laughs> summons is not good. She's taking it as far as like I'll go into her office and she'll like slide a piece of paper over on the desk and be like, hey, will you sign this? And I'll be like, what? <laughs> Like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm don't like, don't don't worry dude. about it. Just sign it. Just you can't sign it. do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I am guilt free, so I don't ever believe I'm actually getting fired. So it's all good. Yeah. Jay's being awfully quiet up there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm <laughs> he is till not tomorrow, buddy. It's Friday. <laughs> One of these days, Jay's gonna be out. <laughs> <laughs> they refused to. They refused to fire me. I don't know why. No, Jay is the Jay is actually the golden child of Faxon. I mean, it, oh. absolutely the golden child of Faxon. He's beloved. 
So <laughs> get away with everything. Said, I don't know. There's nothing I can't get away with. It's true. He's known the he family said, forever. They love him. Like I'm number two, homies. Yeah. I was number two higher. Right. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's value in spreadsheets, man. You run the whole company in your <laughs> yeah. spreadsheet. He who controls the spreadsheets controls the company. <laughs> I knew this was going to come back around to a spreadsheet somewhere. I knew it was. I, I was I like, I'm to. waiting, waiting patiently. Mm-hmm. If I leave, I take the spreadsheets with me. Just saying. Someone needs to explain B lookups to other people. What are you going to do without me? Who's going right? to look up anything? To be fair, Jay right. is probably the best training I've ever gotten on Excel. So. One day when I am able to replace him, they'll probably be like, all right, get out of here. <laughs> did, did no one see what I added to the ticker? Okay, Ooh, never mind. Didn't. You have to Dang. wait for it to come back around. Right. It takes we're, a while. We're going to wait patiently. Yeah. So while There's a we're lot waiting, of dashes. You put a lot of dashes in there. I know, I know. It, it's obnoxious. <laughs> um, I should I should reduce the dashes. But if I if I take the ticker down to edit it, then you have to wait for the whole thing to go through again. No, here we're good. We're, we're almost here through comes. again. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> Not <sighs> that one. Dang it. I guess we come missed on. it. I don't know. No, it's, it's, it hasn't come back around yet, so whatever it is. Yeah. No, really yeah, this may be it right here. It should be next. This is, this like is, this is captivating. This is captivating. <laughs> oh, TV there right we here. go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bam. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I want to comment on something uh, that Obnoxious said, the whole with security thing. There was a time at, uh, I won't say which company, it was either Facts and Firearms or, or Machining, that someone was escorted out by police. And we actually went to lunch and we saw the guy there and he's like, hey, you see those cops? And our shipping manager was like, yeah, man, they're here for you. And he's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. And they were there for him. We saw him getting oh. out when we got back from lunch. Oh my goodness! It was just like holy shit. <laughs> Did he know they were there for him, or was he just making a joke? And no, it just he happened was to... joking around. He, he, I, he, he didn't that know. Awesome. It just so happened that they were there for the guy. Oh, that is classic. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. That is great. I, I mean, it's great right. for comedy. Well, for, for comic relief, it's great. Not for the sure, dude. Right Please were there for it. Bastard ghost. Um, huh? What? Oh, what? No. So, um, thank you guys so much. Um, we're going to do last call for questions, comments, anything. If you want to get them out there in the uh, in in the comments on any of the platforms, go ahead and do it now because we have burned an hour and forty seven minutes. That's time you are never getting back. <laughs> Ever. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, we really appreciate it. Faxon's uh, been one of the coolest companies that, that we've worked with at Gear Report. And, and we've been doing this a few years. So um, few. I'm trying to think I've ever had any issues. Like there are very few brands that we've worked with that we haven't had an issue with some product. I can't think of one. And we've done a fair number of um We've never done like full firearms, but, you know, as we're doing builds, asking for parts here and there, a uh, little accessory things to include and never had a problem with anything. So, um, yeah, I, and I think um, sometimes we run across companies where the people, they like guns and they wanted to, um, they, they, they like guns, so they wanted to make guns, so they just bought some machines and started making them, but they don't really get the machining and tolerances and, and my understanding, you know, uh, Bob, Bob had told me some of the other things that fact the machining made over the years that are very high, um, uh, tight tolerance, you know, um, everything has to be right kind of products. And, uh, and you can tell, I think from our perspective, like, especially we walk around shot show and look at even just some of the, the finish on the products that are in boots. Sometimes you look at it like, yep, this is a machine shop. And then you go to the next one and, Oh, okay. Aerospace. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we, we really like everything that you guys make that we've had our hands on so far. Uh, we really appreciate, um, especially filling in on, uh, 
I don't want to say super short notice, but, you know, we like to book these a few weeks out in advance. And we had uh, a guest who had some health issues in the family, wasn't able to be here. And when I reached out to Fax and said, hey, we were thinking we'd get you on in a month or three, but we have an opening if you happen to be able to make it. And uh, and y'all were our first choice for filling that uh, filling that uh, slot that came up. So we appreciate you uh, uh, being available, uh, definitely. Yes, yeah, so, we're really happy to be here. You know, yeah. we we really appreciate being on the show. You guys have been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's been great. Yeah, we're we're happy to have you here. So let's um, uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put that on the screen. Why not? Um, <laughs> it's always fun to hear about uh, people being pulled out by by law enforcement at work. As long as it, you know, I like hearing about it from other other people. Who My boss would there. never do that to me. Yeah, well, your I don't know. Your boss is shady. <laughs> My boss isn't. He is shady. Yeah, yeah. TJ's self-employed, so. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Crystal's the boss. Let's be honest. Crystal's the boss. Yep. <laughs> oh no, she's not. <laughs> we'll say that too. Yeah. Loud. That was funny. So. Um, <laughs> Good show, degenerates. That is not a, the appropriate way to refer to our guest. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not many words that fit Jay and I, but that may be right. right. Love you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. See, there was a reason that, that Emily was like, oh, I got uh, the guys for you. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, you. You really got the A team here. For yeah. practice. You got Zach and Jay. So what's what's funny is um, often brands will be like, uh, "What are we What are we getting into here? Like, what What is this show about? How do you run things? Like, how like, formal is it going to be? About? What kind of questions do you ask?" And I'm like, "We, we got 99 episodes, you know. Go go yeah. watch a few of them, and then they come back. They're like, really? <laughs> that, that's I like the one to say, hey, can you send me a script ahead of time? Script? Right. That's script. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can oh, script I like, it. hello. That's about as far as my script goes. I'll share yeah. a little secret. Jay was definitely doing some homework. Good. All day. Good. Yeah, I may or may not have reviewed past <laughs> episodes to understand understand formats. You know, put yeah. it all in my spreadsheet and organize. That's, yeah. See, yeah. that's yeah. okay. <laughs> the time was you know how many people said how i can started. respect it. that's called preparation yep but don't expect us to be prepared that's all we're saying <laughs> we're winging it yeah you, know, well, you know zach did you see how are, many caps i have open <laughs> right <laughs> zach and i are, are are like operations guys they don't let us talk to people no <laughs> you know this is like right <laughs> right you know, I mean, they send sales guys on shows. They send marketing people on shows. They don't sell, send operations guys on shows. But I they mean, do when those operations guys are us. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're booking a circuit here, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I am a little worried that Jay's kind of got the Dexter thing going with, like, the plastic behind him. I don't know what's going on after the show, 100%. but if you watch... If you watch Dexter, it's scary a little bit. It looks like you've got plastic hanging up. And if you watch Dexter, then you'll know what I mean. I've Maybe. actually been in that room once and was kind of scared the whole time. <laughs> I'll just say that. Threatened, maybe. That's right. <laughs> All right. Like, I, I think it's a, a good time to bring back Rod's comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, <isn't it? laughs> yep. So uh, talk, talking about the show and brands and whatnot, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up in future weeks. And and I will literally, I'll extend the invitation. You guys are going to come back and be part of the panel and, yeah. uh, you know, not necessarily representing Faxon or I don't really care. You talk about Faxon or not. Uh, yeah. Come be a part of the show. You it's going to be Rick and Morty. It's fine. Next, <laughs> next, next week, it's every Thursday at uh, 9 Eastern. Next week will be, uh, they have been our title sponsor for this show for the past oh. uh, nearly a complete 12 months, Riton Optics. Thank Riton. you so much for sending us a check and then forgetting that we existed <laughs> for for the for the rest of the year. That is the, the no, seriously, that's the greatest story ever. You've got to tell that story to these guys. That <laughs> is the greatest story ever. There, 
they they are the they have been the most hands free hands off sponsors. <laughs> they cut us a check to cover some of our operating expenses for the show. And then the guy who cut the check took a job somewhere else. And he didn't bother to tell anyone on the way out the door that they had just signed up as the title sponsor for our weekly show. So um, for a year, we've been talking about them and like, how come they never come on the show? And so we walk up a shot show and uh, the, the new, hey, hey, where's Tony? Oh, Tony left months and months ago. Like, well, okay, that explains it. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. The new marketing person was like, wait, we sponsor what? I've got a spreadsheet to show you. Can I, can, I, can I show you the spreadsheet that shows where this was? <laughs> I do. And I was proud. One of my spreadsheets for them is the invoice. And the invoice was number 223. I was like, look at that. Oh, that's so, nice. They would get invoice. Yeah. So anyhow, yeah, that was fun. So we'll have them on. We'll we'll harass. That's another Emily. We'll harass. No, actually. So are they, they coming on next week to announce that they will no longer be sponsoring this week? Okay, so report. that's next week. The following <laughs> okay, week. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the following week. So on the third, Riton will close out their 12 months of sponsorship. Uh, on the 10th, we will have our new sponsor. Who will who will come on the show? And it wasn't that that Riton was unwilling to do it again. I didn't even ask. I said we got an offer from another brand, and I was like, uh, "Whoa, okay, yeah, let's do it." So, so they'll be on on the tenth. We're not we're we're not we're not announcing who that is just yet. But I'll tell you, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I know. And then, um, yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah. I, I didn't want to get into the rest of that story right now. Uh, March 17th, that will be 5150 Rifles. That will be a live show from The Gathering. Who knows what is going to happen on that show? There will be, that's the end of the media day at The Gathering. So the first day is nothing but media. And then the next three days, they're, letting, be there. they're letting the commoners in. Trey um, won't be conscious, but he'll be there. He yeah. he won't he won't let me live on from the gathering. I I might not be sober. I don't yeah, know. you won't be. That's fine. <laughs> I'll mean, be there. I mean, I'll be there. None, none of you will be. I'll be running the show. Actually, if, if he's, I, I, we, we, I'll probably be hanging out in the command tent for a little bit before I go back to the house. You yeah, know? the direct the director of snacks and beverages will be fulfilling his duties before yeah, the show. Sure. I'll take so care of everybody. We All just right. have to, as long as we have a good enough uh, signal from out there yep. so i talked to one of the marketing guys at psa who said uh well we've done stuff out there but we don't know if the signal like I, it's probably good enough to stream but we've never done that and i'm like bro you just set up a whole media day and invited all sorts of media who are going to need wi-fi and you're telling yeah, me you you know if we can do one stream yeah but how many bars do you get at range day at shot show if a bar maybe no. one the other kind of bar, TJ. Yeah, there's none. At, there's none at Shot Show. Either one. At, yeah. at Range Day, there is. Or really, you gotta go get on top of the hill, maybe up there by the yeah. long range. No, stuff. I didn't get any. I couldn't even make a call to Crystal. You just stand on the generator. Yes, that's <laughs> what does it. It's, yep. It's tough. Okay, so so that's upcoming. So we got Right Ton Optics, um, the unnamed. New sponsor, 5150 Rifles. I almost messed up and told you who they you were. Did. 5150 Rifles, uh, Sky, they'll be here. And then, ooh, the 31st of March. I feel like I offered that to someone and forgot to put it in the spreadsheet. I don't know. But then Advanced Shooting Analytics will be here on oh, the 7th of April. I like those John, guys. John's so going to come in and You talk said Sky's – Sky's – how did you? Why is my daughter coming on the show? I don't, I don't. I don't like the sounds of this. Yeah, um, man, I hate it when you say something and I'm <laughs> like, nope, can't say that. And then the next thing, <laughs> right, I'm right, like, yeah. definitely can't say that. And yeah, I don't know, but uh, I'm excited that Chris is going to be with us. Um, I think Chris Serino is going to be a good representative of Sky Firearms. Um, I'm yeah. not saying we were hoping that Megan was going to come on the show, but I will say that I'm sure Chris will be a fine guest and Rod will yes. not call him a degenerate because <laughs> he's big and scary. 
<laughs> he will. Yeah, he won't call him a genius. Well, I know he looked. He looked small on the uh, computer screen. Yeah, that's true. Rod didn't realize how big he is. What in the world? Don't forget. Oh, I thought it said don't forget to shine, and I but it didn't say to shine. It said the shine. Yeah, that's a completely different uh, contextual meaning. So yeah, I thought it was a ball joke for a minute, but you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think I think that's going to be it Jeff's for the done. show tonight. We're going to make one more lap around uh, for anyone to oh, talk shit. about anything you want to. Um, so, Ghost, talk about any brands you have coming on that you're interviewing or videos oh, you have dropping. Lord. TJ, what do you have coming as far as reviews? Oh, all right. I apologize. I lied. We got one more thing we got to cover. How did I forget this? What's what is our normal purpose uh, on this show? It, it's you know this week at Gear Report we talk about everything we've done since the prior week. Like we've got all these different articles we published. We're not going to go through them all. I just will point them out to you. If you're into shooting belts, Elite Survival Systems, their CO shooters belt with the Cobra buckle. AJ took a look at it. He gave out a three out of five gears, which. Um, Three out of five is pretty much met expectations, I think. Didn't blow him away. Didn't really let him down. Met expectations. Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me. Whew, that that was a... Uh, I don't want to say I had fish for dinner and that was a weird burp. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that was a weird aftertaste on that like one. Mackerel. Yeah. I like mackerel. Yep, yeah, see? Uh, you wouldn't like that mackerel. one. So um, let's see another one from AJ Ironclad Tactical Gloves. All right, did I just hear? No, I didn't. I thought I sometimes Streamyard dings like someone is joining the show, and I was like, why would someone join the show at this time? Clover likes to do that, like wait till we're signing off and then join it. Um, he gave those out of four out of five gears. You can go see why if you care to. AJ's been uh, AJ's been plowing through reviews lately. He's got a whole bunch more coming. Oh, receivers making us look all look bad. I keep seeing <laughs> the notes that he's sending back and forth to brands after Shot Show. Hey, and there's AJ Homeboy. again. Homeboy is busy, uh, which is funny because he actually like owns and runs a brand that could have been at Shot Show, but instead of taking his brand to Shot Show, he said, "No, I want to go with Gear Report." So. Cedar Mill Fine Firearms didn't go to SHOT Show, but Gear Report did. Um, so here's another one. The next belt. This one has this, this article and this picture have actually been featured all over Next Belt social media because they got a four out of 4.5 out of five. No one has gotten a perfect five out of five gears ever in the history of Gear Report. Um 4.5 is incredibly rare. Um, so that was kind of a big deal. And they have been plastering it everywhere that, that they can put a message up. Next Belt is saying that uh, you know, they are the preferred belt of AJ at Gear Report or something like that. Uh, TJ, do you want to talk about this real quick, the, the LG Tactical? Do we lose him? You realize TJ left, yeah. He said, screw you guys? Pretty much. I think Crystal had to go pick up at the bar or something. I don't know. You are sitting out there. Were you off screen on purpose, TJ? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I, saw I, was, you. I, was, I had I had an issue. Like, uh, we have, you know, I live right by the Space Force, and the planes fly by, and they scramble everything. So, it went out. Really? Yeah. Is that a joke? No, no, no. no. I live no, right, like, right down the street from Air Force Base, which is Space Force. Mm -hmm. And they fly these planes over the scramble, like, everything. That was a good question, though. Is that a joke? Like, no, no. You know, sounds like so, it would be, but no. I wish it was, because when I'm playing Space COD, Force is a joke, but their base is not. <laughs> yeah, their, their base is right down the street. But, uh, yeah, but when I'm playing COD and they fly over, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> There's a uh, the Wright Patterson Air Force Base is right up by us, kind of. It's not right by us, but it's close. And they do like they have a museum, so they do tours. 
And then they have a special hangar that's on the actual Air Force Base. And you ride a bus there. And they're super clear, like, you cannot pull out your phone. You cannot take pictures. <laughs> all this stuff. So, of course, I ignore all that. Right. Not on purpose. But I'm riding the bus and we get to the hangar. Right. I'm, like, taking phones. And, like, this tour guide stares at me. They're like, put that away now. And I'm like, oh, God. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I'm I'm like three blocks from the actual Patrick Air Force Base Space Force That's cool. over there. So it's it's uh it's interesting. You know, planes they, they do some low flyings once in a while, but uh yeah, they uh DJ DLG tactical uh AR um pistol grip. One of one of my favorites this far, but nobody's ever heard of them. Yeah. Um it's got a, like a like a light rubber coating. Well you gotta it, tell you gotta tell your buddy uh, there that now Jay the golden boy at Faxon has heard about them. So Real he's quick, got there you go. Jay, didn't they talk to us at Shot Show? Yeah, didn't yeah, I know. Know. I know. Got the DLG. Yeah. I, I listened. So got- yeah, yeah, yeah. He took us. He we walked yeah. us all the way down to their booth and like yep. gave us a bunch of stuff. They, dude, I, dude, their 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 uh, AR grip is. I mean, it's no joke. And they have, he has a lot of other stuff, but uh, he, they sent me the AR grip and man, I mean, I love that thing. I've used it on probably six or seven AR reviews, and it's it's still it's still holding up. It has just just enough rubber rubberization on the outside, but it's still you know tough enough, and it's got the the compartment where you throw some batteries in, or you know little tools and, and pieces parts. So awesome, I love it. Yeah, I agree with you. I really like their stuff. I thought they made really quality quality parts. Yep. All right. So Jay, uh, make sure turkey, it's shot. Are you can't, you can't go wrong in a turkey. Is yeah. is Jay? Are, are your business cards next year at Shot going to have the Golden Child on there? That would be great if they did. <laughs> oh, I think they probably should. Mine's going to have Director of Snacks and Beverages. And make them actual like gold business cards. Like yeah. that would be awesome. Yes. yes. Somebody's going to have to contact Emily and Dustin over at the marketing department and tell them that. Yeah, you, you know, guys should really push that budget item. Oh, we'll we'll flood the oh, inboxes. Well, Jeff will send a spreadsheet and everything. What yeah. are we talking about? The business card stuff. I think oh, we need yeah. we need to get a hold of our marketing team and make sure that Jay has like a gold business card next year for shot. This is the golden child. Yes. <laughs> I've got some ideas. <laughs> Ooh, that can be scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So um thanks guys so much for coming on. Really appreciate you yep. uh taking the time to come and tell us all about facts and all the products. Explain the difference between release, release, and we're not even gonna talk about the other releases because some of those are like really inappropriate. Um, but uh yeah, I we learned about the golden child. The MP5 that's not really, and uh, all the goodness that is the 8.6 blackout yes. with aerospace quality barrels. Yep. Uh, so, Definitely. yeah, we really appreciate that. Um, I don't even know what I've got so many choices of directions I could go with the next review. Well, I'll tell you what, since we since we have someone who uh, I wonder if there's enough light over there. Since we have oh, someone here who likes guitar stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go handheld. Yeah. Why not? Oh no. yeah. Here we go. We're gonna oh, do the geez. guitar tour because oh. usually no one cares about my guitars. So <laughs> so the 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 Gibson, I really like the the flying Z. And I don't know I don't know if you've ever played any Godin guitars. I got a couple Godins that I absolutely love. It's a oh, pretty cool Canadian brand. That that yeah. one actually, this one it, it was uh, parts were made in Canada but assembled in the U.S. So hmm. that one's pretty cool. And what else is cool? Uh, the Firefly ones. But anyhow, I have to figure out if I want to review. Oh, it's too dark over there. My little mini Marshall stack over there is pretty cool. I, I kind of see it. I think. Yeah. I was I was thinking maybe that one will be next, or uh, you can't really see the Marshall head or the. Bugera or and I've got guitars stacked everywhere over here. So um you were the first person in the history of the show who has shown interest in the guitars. So you are yeah. so you truly are you are the back of the Trace um, asleep. Uh, what are those? I'm <laughs> sorry, what did you say something? What <laughs> oh that's a couple that's a couple fender stratocasters there. And I'm trying to figure out where are the cool ones. 
Oh, and you can't. Man, I, see... I feel this week in Guitar Report, hosted by Jeff and Zach, coming oh, down the line. There you go. I'll I grab my Randy Rhodes. I give it four beers. Okay. I'm going yeah. I'm I'm to pull picks. the other one out here. All right. I wonder if I can reach this one. Oh, geez. Yep. Ah, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. So. <laughs> I hate everybody right now. Ah, there we go. Ah. Yeah, awesome. there you go. Yeah, so we got a little Angus Young action going on yeah. here with the good old SG. The SG. So there we go. Did you hear that? He knew what it was. Oh, I heard <laughs> it. Awesome. I've been playing guitar since I was like eight. So yeah, I've been. Around. <laughs> oh yeah. So I got to tell you a secret. It's not really a secret. I'm like the world's worst guitar player. Same. Like I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, <laughs> terrible. But. I, I got drunk with Chad at the gathering last year, waiting for TJ. You already heard that story. The part that I left out was when he's like, oh, you guys are too drunk to go down and sleep in the tent. Stay up here with us at the lodge, right? So I had to walk down the hill to the tent. And on the way back up, carrying my sleeping bag and my bag of clothes, I slipped and fell and broke my foot. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> in a drainage ditch. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was muddy and it was it was nasty. So, oh, look at that! Hey, I applied for the assistant to the snacks and beverage director and haven't heard back yet. Wow, oh, you're gonna have some competition. No, with Jay you over gotta there. stay on him for that, bro. Um, no. So anyhow, while my foot was broken and I was like, I I'm a terrible patient. I can't sit still. I had some guitars that I've had for years and never learned to play. So you know what? I'm going to learn to play these. Next thing you know, I literally had 35 guitars in my office. I don't, I don't <laughs> even know how it happened. Like I've got, I, I've got, uh, like I, I still can't play anything hardly, but I've got a couple half stacks here and a couple in the garage. And it's like, I have gear everywhere, but you know, that's what I do for a living is gear. So. Anytime I get into something new, it's like, ooh, there's a new, there's a new uh, content area on Gear Report now. So you can go read guitar reviews from the guy who can't play guitar. Yeah. So anyhow, thanks for coming on the show. We really appreciate you guys being here. Um, I did my parting words. TJ, what do you have coming? We'll, we'll go around that way. Oh, the uh, the Wolfpack Armory, uh, the CSR five five six. Right. Yeah. Um, a-Rex, Delta Two, all kinds of stuff. Fun stuff. Ammo. I got a bunch of ammo. You did. From Global Ordnance. Yep. Yep. That was crazy that talk. Was cool. I know. I'm excited. Yep. Seems like good stuff. We'll see. We'll look forward to those. Are you shooting those at Frog Bones or Hunter's Envy or where? Both. Who are you pimping Both. out on? Frog Bones for the A-Rex, and then I'm going to go with the, uh, the CSR 556 out at uh, Hunter's Envy again. Awesome. Before, before pig season really kicks in, and then I'm kicked out of there really you know, That's they, harsh. They, i know they don't want they anybody to pay him people in. okay it's pig hunters they're different different breed hmm. okay good jay you have any parting parting thoughts guys we really appreciate you having us on the show uh jeff it was it was a lot of fun you guys were uh hilarious um you know just wanted to say thanks yeah, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Yep. All right, Zach. Next, okay. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Uh, this was great. Uh, some good training, you know. Uh, no, it was real fun. You know, just keep an eye out for some of our new stuff, and I hope everyone enjoys it and has a good time. All right. Yeah, we appreciate you being here. Um, G23, I was just getting to like you, and then you had to go say that. Yep, you had you know, to do it. If you put your guitar down range, he probably couldn't even hit it with that 40 cal. So, yeah, so oh, 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 snap. Oh, oh, oh. I was getting ready to make nice. a comment, but I can't. Yeah, that was that was good. I was gonna say nice. a 40 guy and a guitar hater, he's not gonna be around Jeff very long. But yeah, yeah. No, 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 I think no, no, Zach no. nailed it. Gary will block you in a second. Yep. <laughs> you better love Excel or else you're gone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All of a sudden, G23 spreadsheet suck. <laughs> yep. He's out. G G23 is banned for life from Gary. He he did make a good comment a minute ago though. He said uh we have trolls and no mods and like where's Gary? Come on. No. 
I'm too tight fisted with the mod authority. Um, I need to give more people the ability to kick out the troll. I mean, you would give one a G23, but he shows up 50 minutes late every time. So, I mean, he, he needs said, to earn it. You said 5 0, right? 15 5 minutes. 0, not 1550. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this one won't even let me kick that person. I, I know. know. I was just, I was trying to do it. Huh. I was trying to kick him. I was like, what's up with that? That one. Like, what the yeah. hell is that even? That didn't even make know. sense. I was, trying, I, was trying, I was trying to kick him out and it wouldn't let me. Error occurred. I'm like, error occurred. And that's one of Putin's robots. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do you have coming, Ghost? Oh, man. Uh, I actually start tomorrow. I'm iced in, so it'll be a good time to uh, do a review tomorrow. I got some stuff on Savior. I'll be writing a report on, a uh, review on tomorrow, so I'll be looking down the line for that one, Jeffrey. Uh, but I've got stuff um, from BRG, Springfield, uh, I've actually got the new SAR AR pistol, SAR USA, at the gun shop, and I can't get to because I'm iced in the house. Yeah. Uh, so looking forward but to doing it. you have a Hummer. I mean, it's a little Hummer, but it's a Hummer. You get four inches of ice. I don't care what you have, brother. You know, the Hummers or just... He's got the chick Hummer, the wannabe Hummer. <laughs> Says the Air Force guy, by the way. Just saying <laughs> The Air Force guy had to get a Humvee to make himself feel like he's actually part of the military at one point. So, so uh, you know, I have I have an H three that he likes to make fun of, but I did a really I got rejected. I got a great video that Gear Report rejected a couple years ago, but it is what I it is. Forgotten about that, and a couple days ago it hit me. I, I don't even know how it came to me, but I was like, I forgot about that video. Um, yeah. That was hilarious. I have yeah. fun with that one. But no, I've got a bunch of stuff coming down the line for reviews. A lot of cool torture tests. Uh, I'm just going to throw it out there. We bought us a snow cone machine for torture tests. Just saying. Uh, use your minds in a weird way if you'd like. <laughs> Onlyfans.com. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, we got some really cool torture tests with a lot of different. I've got a couple things from Global Ordnance coming in, one from Lionheart. Got stuff from all over the place, but really cool. In the next few months, you'll see a lot of good reviews over there on, well, I don't know, good reviews, but there'll be reviews nonetheless um, okay. on the report and on my, and on our, obviously on our YouTube channel. I think next week, I can't remember, I think next week is Fox Truck Mike uh, is going to be on the show, but that might be in two weeks. I don't remember. I, I've got them, I don't know. It's, it's been such a heck of a couple uppers months. And two of their lowers. Yeah, I, I really enjoy Fox Truck Mike stuff. They really are good stuff. Um, and then uh, they're working with Breek now and doing some. Um, Breek has uh, on my Fox Truck Mike. I've got a Breek on. It's it's a charging handle it's called the uh, Warhammer. I don't know if you guys. I don't teach. I don't know. Yes. Awesome, awesome charging handle and all that. But yeah, just all sorts of cool stuff coming to the line. So just be up and look out for some review videos and obviously at gear-report.com where we'll put all the written reviews on. Boom. You know, I almost clicked the wrong one. I'm going to, I'm going to do it anyway. Now, boom, that almost <laughs> happened. Boy, I'll tell you what, I will send you a spreadsheet of directions on what to do and what not to do. That is number one in bold. Ouch. I don't know. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm at least like an inch and a half taller than him. So, I mean, Okay. That's the only person I can say that about, so I've got to get props on that. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shut things down. Thanks, everyone on the panel, for being here. The show would suck a whole lot more without you guys. So thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for all of the wonderful comments uh, in the out in the chat, except for that one. That one. Like, really? What does that even mean? Boom. Get it. If you're gonna spam me with stupid, but, stuff, but you gotta boom today, not tomorrow. Yeah. It's gotta be today. Apparently, also today. It's not, you know, right? Yeah, today. that that's a, that's a time sensitive post right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm lost. Anyhow, everyone except that one. That's weird. You. We appreciate it. And you keep saying it. Today, I'm gonna thank you. I'm gonna thank you for about two thirds of your comments. The others, whatever. Okay. <laughs> But uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Thanks. We'll see you again. No, hold on. Don't get too happy with the finger. All right. Uh, we, we oh, hey, 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 hey. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. We we you do are. a thing where we point at the camera when we when we sign off. Okay, uh, just so you guys don't feel left out. Um, to yeah. The fingers. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> next Thursday. We're going to be here every Thursday, 9 p.m. on the East Coast in the real time zone, the Eastern time zone, nine o'clock on a Thursday. PM. That's when you'll yeah. find us here. Until next time. Okay, that's your cue, guys. Point at the camera. We'll see you at the range. <laughs>